Hello. Oh my god, there's a voice in my head. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Welcome to me. Uh, how you doing? Doing all right. Running a bit late today, but you know what? Hey, shit happens. Hey, McQueeb, does WC mean West Commons? I don't know what West Commons means. WC to means means toilet. Vasaclo, yep. Uh, so yeah, hi. Hello. We played uh, unpacking. We finished up unpacking. We only had like like a level left in that. And uh, and we've been playing Lake. Wait, so there's only one level? So tell me about the last, because I I was asleep for most of that. <laughs> I was out. So yesterday we left off. They uh, they had moved into a two story. Like, like that's that's where we ended it. Like mm -hmm. they. Uh, so v very long story short, she started off living in her parents house. She moved out. I think she got roommates. She that's where she did like a lot of cosplay. She moved in with Bruce Wayne. Mm -hmm. She moved back into her childhood bedroom. She moved out on her own. I saw all that. Yeah. And then someone moved in with her and we revealed that that was a woman. Mm -hmm. So we had, we unpacked when they lived together and then we stopped whenever they moved into a two story. Apparently that was the last level. I was, uh, the reviews I saw said that there were eight levels total. Uh, so you those did were move a, a couple of times though, right? Huh? You did move like about that many times. Yeah. Well, no, I just detailed out how many times we moved. Some of them were really short, though. Right, but like, like that—that's my confusion with the with the game. So we moved into a two-story, and it turns out we had a baby with our our girlfriend, lover, mm -hmm. whomever, and it was really nice. And, and then the the game just ends. Like, it has a very abrupt ending. You know how I feel about abrupt endings. The ending has probably killed... Like, my 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 love for the game was probably at, like... Oh, probably, like, a 7 or an 8. And then with the ending, it's probably back down to, like, a 5 or a 6. Like, really? Like, I, you, you know me. I'm Are I'm we all about... sure that's the, the quote-unquote true ending of the game? I'm going to investigate. Metal Card was in chat, and he has played it, and he said that that was that was the ending. Huh. And he was like, "No, no, no! You can't skip past the the credits. There, there's, uh, there's, there's a, a scene. There's, there wasn't. It, it was a photo of you and your your girlfriend and your child." And that oh, was I did, it. I did see that screen. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "That's it? Really? That was it? It was just, it was." It was very, very, if I would have known, I would have maybe, maybe ended stream yesterday a couple of levels earlier, but Give you I more content know. for today, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, but. Well, I, I, yeah, I didn't know either, yeah. I, I knew it would be short. I didn't think it would be that short. So I went ahead and I bought Lake, which is a game I have had my eye on since it was, I think it was released. It, was it E3 or something a couple of years ago or something? Oh, I don't know. Like they were talking about it, and I finally got it. It it released last October, I believe, and uh, it's a little slow, but it's good. It's very retro. Uh, the voice acting is kind of dorky. Oh, this is this is Lake. Mm -hmm. Super good. I do like it. Wasn't it a small place and too bigger? Though so it was childhood home apartment with cosplay. Bruce Wayne, childhood home, own apartment, someone moved in with her, and then the two story. So that's. that's... I, I thought there was more than that. I, I, yeah, I don't know. No, there's, a, but there, there are achievements. I'll probably do the achievements on my own because they are very random and it. I can't find a way to view the achievements in the game. I have to view them on Steam. And so it's just, it's kind of clunky. 
I'm well, there's, sure there's, there's a the way. photo album. Wouldn't that be where the? I don't. I don't know. I'm just no, speculating. It, it's not. The, the photo album shows you the different moves, and you can go back and I think you can retest them or like redo the moves, or like revisit them. I saw the, the I saw the picture Meph put on Discord, and it was very different than like it. That's cool that people play the game. You you wanted to put everything away. You wanted it. They wanted it to look like it was lived in. Lived in like, like, I thought that was cool. It, it's once again it, it's it's something else that tells me how how weird my brain is so yeah it's fine so we played lake lake was super cool we probably are like maybe halfway through it from what i've seen uh, but i am gonna find something else halfway uh, through it in a couple of hours i am I've... well now look so, so... now that i know you're into narr narrative adventure games and and like story driven personal stories um it it narrows things down a lot uh and and can there's there's good shit out there like really good games some that i played some that i played that i didn't quite get there's one called what becomes of either edith Fitch. um i didn't i didn't enjoy that as much probably because it was more of a narrative um a narrative story game but it, it's told it, I'm, I'm not even going to say anything more about it um i think you should check it out there's one called gone home um fucking great game really good game that one brought send, the tears a little bit yeah send me the link mate um i just I, gave you the name Fuck. i well your wife has adhd she's gonna forget I found, uh, I saw the tags for unpacking, and so I've done a little bit of exploring through um, uh, Steam to see what is what has those same tags. Now, I know Finch, from- not Fitch, my bad. I know from previous experience with the, uh, the Queeb event calendar, that was our December event. I said what remains. No, I said what becomes, it's what remains. I got the, I got it entirely wrong. I'll send it. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I know for a fact how different the the tags can be. So mm -hmm. for those who weren't around, I gave Queeb one new game every day in December. And I would give chat the list of tags. And if I could, I would read the descript like I would I would paraphrase the description so they couldn't really Google it. And Metal Card actually I think was it you, Metal Card? Like you were able to guess some, like like pretty early on, um, but yeah, like like so I know how vastly different Frosty High and Indif. Oh, Dad, database. He's got the uh, diploma to prove it. Jesus Christ! I, I Why I allow this this person in my chat? Room? You're amazing. Um, wait, hold on. You, oh, you moved into. Oh, was it a dorm that we moved into before? That's right. I remember the dorm. It was really small. Oh, maybe, yeah, that was probably it. I don't even remember that one. I, um, like, part of me was like, I wish they let you freeform place what? stuff. But then yeah. I thought it's really clever the way stuff just snaps into its intended place, but you can still, there's some flexibility there based on size. You can actually, there is an option to turn off the puzzle aspect. That's what they refer to it. So oh, okay. you can literally just unpack and put stuff wherever. Wherever you want. I... I wanted to have the puzzle aspect. Well, sure, that that makes it more more gamey, right? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, uh, I think it's more entertaining, and and it, it, there is like you know the the, the puzzle aspect of it. Uh, so anyway, I pulled up a bunch of tags that were for unpacking. Doom pile in the corner. Just don't unpack. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll be out of here in, in a week, anyways. What difference does it make? Um, and so like a lot of them are like cute life sim casual puzzle point and click and so of course i looked up those tags those five tags together and most of the games are really games that are really cool. like um, this is quite a derogatory term but uh -huh. walking simulator is probably the one you're looking for i wonder if that's why is that derogatory because it 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 diminishes the quality of a game for some gamers does it? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Anyway, um, maybe Walking Simulator and Cute. 
No, there's nothing. How do I search by tag? I don't even. Oh, here we go. Tags. Uh, walking simulator. Um, casual. It was used Men negatively versus Death Stranding. Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> to, to be fair, if any game was deserving of that, that would have been would have been the one. So, automatic. Just doing walking simulator and casual. Like the first few that pull up is Escape Simulator, The Stanley Parable, fucking Firewatch, fuck Delilah. So for, fuck Firewatch would have been a decent one to look at. Fire, Firewatch. Well, obviously would, we've we've gone through that and we we've got our own opinions of it already. That train has sailed absolutely. Um, fucking Delilah, man. Fucking Delilah, fuck that bitch. Um, so I will, I'll you know look through here and see what i can find but yeah like like i like the puzzle aspect uh lake is it's less puzzly it's more planny i didn't realize i would have to drive a, a mail truck i thought that it would be like like autopilot and some places are autopilot others you have to drive and you can't drive with a mouse you have to drive with keys which i can't do i'll, um, I'll get you the controller set up tomorrow we'll we'll figure it out and the uh th there isn't a real puzzle aspect but i like the life the lifestyle the life sim of it it's, it's interesting somebody recommended man of madana that's a dark pictures anthology game i actually i saw red <sighs> red play that oh, okay so. well then you've, you've experienced it probably already mm -hmm. I've, I've, those are weird dude the quality varies so wildly and it's 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 main like it's decision making it's conversations that have varying degrees of of impact and then it's you know uh click x at the right time uh, quick time events life is strange king nesta says hold on i think you'd like that yep i will I will note all of these down. Life is strange. Hello, everyone, by the way. Sorry, I haven't uh, said hello individually. Life is strange theme. Episode one. 20 bucks. Oh, hold on. Complete. The complete pack is 20 bucks. Oh, oh it's episodic. Never mind. What are we doing? Chatting, Swedish fish. Hello, how you doing? I will be dishing out the heels later tonight. Um, I think I've actually reached close to the end game. I could be wrong with mini healer, but uh, we'll see how we go. Lots of people popping in. You can't say hello to everyone. I oh, know I, I like to though, but I mean when Ms. Queeb's Talking, that's that's my focus, you know. It's all good. How is everyone? What's going on? And uh, thank you very much to Spectator for redeeming channel points for a uh, uh, sub. Frosty, what's up? Just started playing Outer Wilds today. After I mentioned the music, you're enjoying it so far. I only mentioned the music. <laughs> Um, because that's something I'm very passionate about. It's my favorite game of all time. Yeah, and as a result, I'm not going to continue talking about it. In fact, I would recommend you don't tell anyone unless, well, you might be streaming or whatever you do, but just, just try to keep as much to yourself as you can. If you are streaming it, um, have some good mods on and be prepared to literally ban the fuck for all eternity out of everyone that no, tends to ruin that experience for you. No, turn turn emote only on chat. My channel has been in emote only mode exactly one time and it was because of well, Ms. it was Ms. Queeb's decision but it was because of Final Fantasy 7 Remake. It was either emote only or we're turning it off completely. Yeah. People, people love to spoil. And uh, by the way, like regarding us chatting, I don't think you can turn it off. You can. I was given. I was. I was. Uh, I had access to turn to turn chat off. 
can do that? Mm-hmm. I mean, I know you can put it in sub-only mode. No. I don't remember where I went, but like when when I was like looking to see what my options were, I could have turn, turned chat off completely or I could have done emote only. Slow mode, to... emote only, sub only mode, follower only mode. But like I did have the ability to completely shut it down. Pause chat, scroll. No, that's for my viewing it. I don't think you can. But anyway, very quickly, uh, Quiva and I were just chatting since we I just did a raid on his channel. Um, this is the first time we've talked today. Yeah. Well, Whenever... we, we, we kind of passed each other in my blurry state. I was up. I couldn't sleep. You but got we... up and you went back to bed. Oh, it was a weird, weird day. Yeah. So I have a somewhat normal schedule. I wake up earlier in the day. He has a fucked up schedule. Sometimes I see him in the morning. Sometimes I don't. And today whenever we talk on this channel and this is just like what happened in uh in december and it happened a little bit during the may event and there, the are subathon. Times, there are times we don't talk until i'm here on his channel talking like that's just what it is so like i'm sorry if people come in and and they're like why are you talking or whatever i don't i didn't even see the actual reference but I just wait who thought, said that i don't know i was i was in the restroom and i heard you saying For... something no 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 yeah. somebody somebody came in and said what are we doing today yeah. just chatting and I'm, I'm just talking to the, this person that that i live with and stuff because i haven't gotten to talk to him uh but yeah so i'm gonna go through the list of uh of games See if I can find anything. See if you have any access to anything that I can like maybe try out. And if I like it, then I'll I'll get it. I I think you like a few. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I now that I know this is kind of your jam. This is it's there's really good stories out there and a lot of indie games. Um, a lot of them cover you know coming of age and dealing with sexuality and questioning sexuality and. Um, um, romance and, and growing up and growing up poor and oh, there's, there's tons of topics that it, it, it covers and, and, and most of the stories are really well written and I think they come from a very personal place mm -hmm. there's a game called That Dragon Cancer which is just crushing well I don't um, want anything crushing definitely don't want that um, I like I like the puzzle aspect. There's an echo because we're in the same room. Yeah, her, her mic is, is more sensitive. It's really sensitive. Than mine. We don't, so we don't have a noise gate set up on hers and... and no yeah. noise gate. Not much uh, we can do about it. Everything will be fine. I, uh, I like the puzzle aspect. I like the life sim. I like the casual aspect of it. But I also... I. I I think so far, at, at least with unpacking, we, we meaning like me and chat, mm. we really like the, the, the subtle drama of it because with unpacking, you're not told anything. You have to discover it as you're unpacking and putting stuff away. I'm, you're like, what? I'm impressed with the storytelling in that actually. And so if I could find something similar where it, it, there is drama, but maybe not a terrible amount of awful drama it, it it is and i'm i'm unfortunately discovering that like part of me wishes i didn't play it because now i want to find more games like it and so far i have not been able to find are there any other games like mm -mm. It's, it's quite it's quite well done and i haven't seen like i well i don't that's not my genre right so i'm not the best judge but i haven't seen any or or you know even close to that before. It's it's clever. It, it is, and I I tried looking to see if the the uh, the studio had done anything else, and they have, but it, it's a completely different game, a different different type of game. Um, packing is such a unique game. There was what's the name? It had a cat as the main character, story based. Side on. Check out Road 96. Oh, I just sent you that one, yeah. It's a good, good okay. suggestion, King, I say. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to 
find that. I'll, I'm also going to uh, ask people for suggestions in Discord. I'll look around. Uh, but tomorrow we're probably, well, we're absolutely playing Lake. We will probably finish and I don't know, depending on how long it takes, maybe we'll we'll go for something else. Maybe I'll just like, I might end stream right there because Queeb won't be streaming tomorrow night. It'll just be, uh, it'll just be me. So we might do that and, and call it a night, whatever. It's fine. A walk in the park or something like that. There was another one coming out very soon. This is Kentucky Route Zero. Hello, Rotten Johnny. Walk in the park. I see a walk in the park and a date in the... Oh my God, a walk in the park. Indie platformer action difficult. In this platformer, you play as a cat bast running through a dark fantasy world. You'll be running, jumping, and sliding through... Sliding with smooth and precise controls designed to make you feel like a cat, but it won't be easy. Um, automatically from the trailer, does the cat die? Is the cat dead? And we're dreaming. Salt lamp? Yeah, all the positive energy in the world is coming from that. That's why I have it turned off right now, because fuck that. No, I, I turn it off because it actually gets really fucking hot. I thought it was an LED inside. I am wrong. No. I mean, that's it. It, it heats we, up the salt and the salt releases we need ionic to put, energy like a, bullshit. We need a bunch of crystals over there by Queeb. See if we can absorb some of that like negativity that he gets in chat sometimes. <laughs> You dealt with a little bit of that today. Something was going on. It's all right. That's one of the things about becoming a new streamer. Not, not my thing. Not my dog. So I'm not kicking it. Yeah. Like, don't like it's. Nah. People got to realize that. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. This is this is your house. We're just visiting. I actually, have a cool thing with two obelisks and a blue geode. I, I have been looking. Obelisks, like from um, Command and Conquer. What? I don't know what that is. I'm it's assuming it's a laser that evaporates people. Oh, fantastic! Um, I I have been on the hunt. I know that this this does not exist. I have not. I I randomly find them and they're like seven eight hundred dollars, but like I want like a twelve or sixteen inch pyrite obelisk or labradorite. And I want two of them. And I know that they're they are difficult to find. Um, and when they come available, they're gonna be expensive and it, it's gonna be a thing. Like I, I already know, but oh yes, I, I need the crystals. I need there was them. a there was a table, a motorized table, and it's filled with sand. And it has a marble on it, and there's a magnet a metal marble and there's a magnet under the table and it moves in geometric patterns and it takes forever to draw it's like thousands of dollars though um, that shit's cool they ac actually they have a small tabletop version at what's it called bed bath and beyond i didn't see how much it was like, like it like it's small um and it draws it draws like like patterns mm. and stuff the tiny little marble super cool um we have no surfaces mm. so where where would we put such a device? You know, well, that's that's why we need the table one. Clearly, King Face. Hey, King Face, what's up, dude? Face, how are you? Art, right, well, Benny, long time indeed. How you doing? Great to see you. All right, I'm looking up Night in the Woods. Hold on. There's another one coming out soon, or it is has just come out. It's about um. A family of foxes and it's a, it's a dealing with extinction I think it might be really sad I just got a feeling on that one let's see what was the other one? Oh shit somebody just said something else where is it I sent you a few oh oh I think I found it hold on my where was it? Yeah. Let me see. Night in the Woods? So someone recommended Night in the Woods, and then whenever I looked it up, something came up in the search. But now that I'm actually seeing, I don't think this this game is for me. 
uh, the the one that came up in the search is called These Nights in Cairo, and it's a visual novel about a uh, a girl like in like ni- early 1900s wanting to be an archaeologist, and she's like a tomb raider, and and so like some of the questions are just like weird, and then there's like pictures of her half naked with uh, I'm assuming that's Osiris. And he's half naked, and it's like a thing. I'm like, that's probably not the audience I want for my channel, and that's okay. That's totally fine. Not my oh, thing. Oh, all right. I I don't. We're not playing twenty minutes. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll disable that. I completely forgot that was still active. Most of these story-driven games have feels. I yeah. I want I want to avoid. Well, the, I want to. There's avoid a reason feel. for that. It's because they're ind- independent developers, right? And, and they get a chance to tell their story through their art. And that's, that's why most of them are in this, in this category, because they're, it's a good way to tell a story. Yeah, I just, uh, I, and I don't, I don't, I don't, hi, it is, it is uh, Miss Quaid chatting. Hi, how are you? Um, I don't have a problem with feels. I just. I don't want to feel bad for playing a game. I don't want to feel worse. Like that's not the way to get me to continue playing a game is to to make me like like feel bad. Like if if unpacking ended, like if the last level was her moving in with with the Bruce Wayne rich guy and she has to store her diploma. That would have been a shit ending. Like, it would have been shit. Like I can't do that. I need redemption. God damn it. Um, I, I like stuff that, that, that brings out my emotions and it, in fact, I was watching a video on TikTok, somebody made one, it was, it was some footage, like, uh, traffic camera footage of a tiny kitten that ended up on the street somehow in a, like busy highway. And it was a story about, you know, someone saving that, that kitten, but everyone else kept driving over it and there were, there were some close calls. And I was, I was, I was holding my breath for the, like, three minutes. And it, it had music playing in the background, and, and, and obviously it's designed, that, that particular thing is designed to bring out those emotions, but, um, cat got saved, it's fine. See, I don't, I don't even, mm-mm. If I see a video like that, I immediately, like, if I can pause the video, I will pause it. If it doesn't pause, I will mute it. I will go immediately to the comments and see what people are saying. Yeah. <laughs> like I I do not want to be emotionally swayed by something that has no payoff uh, at all or that is like awful and I'm very liberal with the scroll finger like I'm I'm totally cool like walking away from something. Uh I, just, I don't like the way I feel whenever I watch. You never go to the co- I have I, I had to make the decision. Do I watch this myself? Or do I go to the comments to see what people say? And I've gotten to the point where I'm, I've developed that sense enough to, I can look at the comments and I can generally figure out if it's a video I need to watch. And if I continue, even if the comments say that it, it, oh my God, oh my God, thank you so much for saving the kid. Oh, he's, he's so, he's so cute. I can't, blah, 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 blah. I haven't, Keen, I, but but looking uh, at the scar on its head, I can already tell, yep. Even if I I start watching that video and I I can tell that it's not what I need to be watching, I will immediately scroll. Like I I don't care. Um, I don't care. Like I don't I don't feel good when I watch stuff like that. I will think about it for days on end. I will feel like I'm a shit person because I'm not doing enough to make sure that that situation stops. W- watching the progress was so. Uh, like sometimes maybe there are a bunch of videos followed this dying kitten i say a bunch of the most of the time it looks like they found a distressed animal or actually put the animal into the situation yeah i can't I, like i can't oh, boy. i suspect that mm. i don't care like i nope nope and there are people who will take the time to say you know how dare they they put the animal in the, in the situation and and blah 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 i i i won't even I'm not going to like that comment because that's engagement. I'm not going to do anything that is engagement. I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to scroll. 
Like even, even on TikTok, the amount of time that you stay on a post, even if you don't interact, is considered interaction. So I've, I've gotten to the point where I'm good about like just, time, yeah. yep, just quickly ascertaining and getting the fuck out. No, I, I, I have babies that I need to take care of anyway. Like I don't, I don't need to be swayed by other babies. People, people, uh, I, don't, I don't know what to call that. Emotion farming. People are very good at it. They, there's a formula and they've, they've learned what that is and it works and and they get you know millions of views and then they're happy they get that dopamine rush and then move on to stealing some more content or creating more that does the same thing like yeah i posed a question today because i've been thinking about my own content and and other people's um at what point do you switch from you know posting three to four times a day with if i'm being honest fucking useless content um to using using your platform for for good to teach people stuff and to help people grow or whatever and uh like i'm i, I don't think i'm there yet my platform's very small um but I, I, I hope to one day, like, use it for good, right? I think you should do it now. Do you, do you, I mean, know, do you know how many people I have watched on TikTok? And uh, spoiler, it's a lot. How many people I've watched on TikTok talk about being an expert in a field, in some kind of field, and you go and look at what they have, and they have, like, a couple hundred on Instagram. Or they have like like maybe a thousand on TikTok. So, um, oh, like so you're the, you're in you're in the because I posted a comment about people giving advice. Uh, sorry, I posted a video about giving advice, and th there's a so on Twitch TikTok specifically. And part of the reason why I'm not necessarily wanting to go into that field is because it's toxic as fuck. People, the the, the content cycle is. Probably every couple of months, I would say the cycle repeats. And it's the same topics every single time, and it's the same outrage farming every single time. And I, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm above that. I don't. That's all you have to say. If, if you're, if you're not into it, you're not into it. Seriously. And, and that's. You can always do charity of... streams as well. Oh, can I? Look, if I could, I would. I mm -hmm. can't. The charity right now is, is me. I, I, I'm on the plane, plane's going down. I don't even have my own mask on. I can't help anyone right now. Five minute craft videos are turning into dangerous and absolutely ridiculous crafts that no one should try. Jazzy YouTube bars just did a video about how they used to be legit craft, but changed to crazy bullshit. There is a woman on YouTube. I want to say she's over like a million, like several million subs by now or subscriber yeah subscribers by now where all she does is like she focuses mainly on like food hacks and like baking hacks mm -hmm. and occasionally she'll do other stuff but that that's all she does is just she 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 doesn't even go out to debunk them she's like oh this looks good let's do it or um my my knowledge of how baking works tells me that this is not supposed to work at all but let's try it and and she's able to actually like not only make a living but be successful the, at, those people yeah. like that that five minute crafts thing which i remember back in the day when it was like cool stuff and now they're they do the wildest shit on there it's so fucking dumb like they'll destroy a pair of scissors to make a letter opener <laughs> but it's really cool that literally shows you how to put a puddle of hot glue in what the you fuck I believe it. I believe it. Like it's, it's always hot glue. It's like it's like you don't have a pair of shoes. Um, we can make a pair out of hot glue. It'll take five hours to do, but it's cool. Trust me. I saw one. I don't think it was specifically five minute crafts, but you know that that genre of let's make something that should be way, way, way more expensive but let's make it. It was one of those and they made a couch out of 
cardboard and foam and batting. I've seen like, it. I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, it, it's like, uh, I, I, mm, it's a, is it low hanging fruit? Kind of. I know, I know that I would never do anything like that. Like the actual, yes, the actual refurbished furniture videos. Yes, a thousand times. Show me, show me stuff that I want to know how to do. But I watched that video for, for those have, that have not seen it. This person takes cardboard and I believe it was, yeah, it was also batting. It's, it's but like it's, it's like, it's, and, it's almost uh, professionally made like it it's a press professionally made with cardboard it yeah. wasn't gonna hold it like it was it was fully like right. laser cut or some shit and it was uh, perfect like stacks it had the backing support like it was designed by someone this wasn't just thrown together that's what made it kind of interesting because it is semi-legit right but it, it like, like the my my whole thought behind the whole premise of like quote unquote five minute crafts is that hey i'm an average person on the street and and i have five minutes and can i do this thing and and i should be able to do this thing with things that i already have with no prep time at all gosh darn it and that's never the case like never the case at all like it's always more complicated um like they did one where like like all of the ones that that are clothes cutting up clothes to make stuff there is a chef that i watch just an average chef but he has made his entire tiktok persona let me see if i can find him it shouldn't take too long to find he um oh god well, it might take a while um i think it's called chef reacts i think that's his his name some of the shit that he, like, he's like, this is utter garbage, and then he gives it a, a rating. What's weird is that some of his videos get struck down for, and these are all, um, not Stitch, what's the other one called? Duet. Duet. It's a, it's a reaction, right? So there's one side is the video, and then the other side is the other person. Um, that, that content's already out there, so how do you strike someone down for copyright infringement? If this is using the system that whatever, but people get really fucking like pissed off that someone made fun of them, which means I'm thinking they thought what they did was legitimate. The last one I saw, he had a five part series because the video ser the, that it came from was a five part series. The most disgusting ramen abomination I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, picture a T-bone steak in the center of a frying pan. Um, a square cut in the middle of the steak with an egg in it. Um, four or five packs of ramen spread around the outside. Oh, hello. You want to say hello to chat? Oh, she... She hates me. Can you see her head? It's, it's dark in there. She heavy. Um, all Python? Yeah, yeah. We've got five of them. I have a, I have a button. Look. Um, so you got then like, uh, ramen noodles and uh, like just the, just the cheap ramen noodles around the outside. Um, I think there's oil and water in there or something and water in with the steak and the butter, lots of butter. It's just fucking vile. Like the color of it straight away. You just, you just like, what, what the fuck is this? It's so disgusting. Um, I think those videos got taken down because because the person that's which means this person who made this this steak I assume got offended by the fact that someone was making fun of her supposedly um 
fabulous dish. I've, like I said, I've never seen anything more vile. It just, it's just revolting. It had like five or six eggs in it. It's just... Bleh. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't see that. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> Predation on people who don't know better. Deliberate fake recipes to mm -hmm. fool you. In. Yeah, that's yeah, that's exactly what we're talking about. It's completely awful. It's an abomination. I, mm -mm, I'm, I, I know that I'm smart enough. I mean, not, steak and eggs ramen. You didn't say this dish, Dallin. You wouldn't be saying that. Uh, I know that I'm smart enough not to like. Like I have figured out that people are emotion farming, rage farming. Like, I, I, I well, that, know that I'm smart enough to avoid it. Go ahead. So this current cycle came out and it said, uh, this is, this is in Twitch TikTok. And it's like, you've got smaller creators giving advice and people see that and they question the legitimacy of the advice based on the, the, metrics of the channel producing that content um so i i just it, it this happens over and over again every everything comes in a cycle it might be worse on twitch tiktok than the rest of tiktok i'm, I'm not exactly sure but it's disturbing how often like like i'm seeing trends from 2019 make resurgence it's like it's it it just keeps happening right um and I made a video and I said, just let people make what they want to make. Take the advice, don't, nobody fucking cares. Some, some of the advice is good, some of it not so good, some of it's absolute garbage. And the worst thing you could potentially do, like for example, um, OBS now lets you separate audio channels so you can play music to one, um, you know, your, your gameplay in another, whatever, right? Um, I actually have it set up. The, the sound alerts that I have whenever somebody, um, triggers one of them with a subscription or, or whatever. Um, none of that audio gets recorded locally, but it does go out live, right? That's better from a content creator's perspective, for me at least. So... I can then use that footage for other stuff if I if I ever want to. Um, but people are saying, "Oh no, use you play whatever DMCA music you can have, fucking I don't know Metallica playing the entire stream, as long as it's not on the VOD channel, right? Because you can separate that as well. So the VOD channel won't have your your Metallica playing, but the live channel will, right?" There's a bunch of... Like, it's really powerful. OBS is fucking awesome. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you do it, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. And there's... Anyway. So this whole thing about... about um, you know, people being like, Oh, you, you, you've got to... You've got to be an expert in your field. I don't believe in that. Because this information probably didn't come from them in the first place. It's, yeah, it's, it's oh, frustrating. But th that was kind of my point. Like, it, there are so many people who, who know next to nothing and they are getting paid because there are so many people out here that need advice and they need guidance. And yes, well, I mean, cat template. Thank you. Those subs. Yeah, those, <laughs> that, that sound. Yeah, exactly. Oh, thank you, cat. Oh, that's so nice man. of you. Thank you. Um, and there, there are people who, who they need guidance. They want guidance. They'll, they will pay for guidance and they just assume, oh, well, this person is talking. That me that means that I should listen. This person, they, they have, they have the knowledge, right? Right? Dot, 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 right? And that's, that's absolutely not the case at all. It, it's, it's. It's not like the the most expert person coming forward, and that's something that I'm having to to learn a lot. Like I I can have a voice. I don't have to be the smartest person in the room. I just have to be like the loudest. Paid streamer classes. That's a that's another thing that comes up from time to time. There is some value in the curation aspect of those. Um, however, 
if you know where to look and you're willing to do the work, that's the that's the big one there. You don't need to pay for streamer classes. Um, what's another big one recently? I'll think on that. There was a, there was another one that was pissing me off. Oh, um, I I don't know how to classify this. Uh, pity pity content. So it's like, um, oh, there's a couple of there's a couple of examples here, both pity content and altruistic content. And I'm using uh, imagine six quotation marks on either side of, of that. Um, so like in the grander scale, there's people that like you walk up to a, a someone in a, in a shop and say, Oh, look, I'm really broke. Do you have a couple of bucks? And the, and the person says, um, um, Oh, do, do you need something? Yeah. Okay. Here's, here's a couple of bucks. Well, you know what? I'm just making content. Here's a hundred back or whatever. And that's exactly what Senpai just said. So like, it's like I rated, I raid small streamers after every stream. And it, it's got like video reactions, which is one using their content without permission. I think that's fucking bullshit to begin with, but it, it just plays on the fact that I think they're, they're trying to say like, I, I'm a good guy follow me, like, give me your, your channel name and I will, th this could potentially be you one. It's just, it's such bullshit, man. I hate it. I hate it. But the one that, that when I say pity content, it's like, oh, streaming to five viewers. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, all the work I did and uh, like, I've been streaming for three years and, and I get five viewers and it's like, what does that say about the five people that have stuck with you for three years? That just says, I don't give a fuck about you except your, your metrics, right? It, it just people, it just, they see something work and it's getting hundreds of thousands of views and they think that they can turn that into, into their own, th their own thing, right? It, it's, it's, it's disturbing the mentality behind it. And that's, that's part of why I created the, the video I did today. And I don't, I'll help people where I can. And I'm, I think I, I would like to help people be at least think differently, if not better. Right. Um, I'm, I'm a big advocate for accessibility in games. Thank you, T-Mans, and Game Shark for the five gifties. Thank you. Um, and I've, I've I've made a few videos on accessibility and its importance, um, especially around achievements. And I'm not I'm not quiet about it, right? Like I've, I've spoken about this many times. And the comments I get, like, oh, like you should just you should just get good, or, um, oh, fuck, I just want to reach through the phone, you know? Like it pisses me off so much. Just how, I mean, it's part of the reason why this, this country and the world is what it is right now. It's because people don't think about anyone else but themselves. Eighty thousand souls. <laughs> right. Thanks, Senpai. Yeah. There were a lot of YouTube channels that used Arma 2 game simulations and titled them Russian Tank Bombed by U- Oh, fuck off. And if that's really good. I hear a lot of streamers are letting escaped prisoners camp out in the backyards. This way they always have content. Jesus fucking Christ. That's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Is is that on the database? Have you added that yet? Um, In a context like helping a streamer seems difficult to untangle the whole give a man a fish situation. I'm going to quit. I've only got X viewers. Uptick of engaged. Keep grinding, bro. No, you got this. Facts. Like, oh my god. Jesus. 
two unmuted streams, you can mute the tab. But if you mute the stream, it doesn't count. It's that's fake. That's entirely fake. It's it, and, and that's it. There's, there's so much misinformation when it comes to Twitch and the way Twitch works, especially with the changes coming, especially to ads, especially to potential revenue split changes. Um, like until Twitch announces it, like don't say anything. If you're speculating on something that may or may not be in your contract, don't say anything. How did the hacker get away from the police? He ransomware. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. It's perfect. It's perfect. I'm, I'm losing it over here. No, it's perfect. I love it. I find streamer tips absolute horseshit half the time. How is someone who streams Warzone going to give advice on painting Warhammer figures? No, but there are people who who would stream about painting Warhammer figures. Or if you don't have, if you don't see that content, make the content. I called someone out, I, like I commented on their video. I didn't do a call out video. Actually, my my video today was related to this, but there's a, a dude who said five games that will help you grow on Twitch. And then he listed five games. And I said to him, like, dude, explain why these, these five games. And he did two videos that were the same, probably because the first one did really well. And, and I said, explain why, like, and he said, I, I can't remember his response to me. This was just today. And I said, you've got 10 videos worth of content here. You could pro provide statistics, uh, give context, give nuance, um, explain why those particular games work or, or don't explain why they're popular. Was there a resurgence? Um, in, in the game, is there a DLC that just came out? Like, but, but there was none. It was just, here's five games that'll help you grow, which in itself is fucking asinine because that, that mentality is, is, it, it, no, I, I'm trying to help people, right? <laughs> That's what I want to do. Stream painting figures, but there's no streamer tips for that because it's all it, it is. I I am a new streamer. I have streamed in little blips before. I am streaming now in 2022. I have a marketing background, a long marketing background. I've completely moved away from it. I've also watched and helped my husband in the last two and a half years, almost three years in, three years. in a couple of weeks yep. with his channel. Oh um, shit, we are closer. Plus, plus ADHD and autism means I hyper focus and I pick up on a lot of stuff. I just did a search for Twitch stream paint Warhammer on YouTube. A couple of videos, sure, like, like 39 views, 24 views. Uh, someone, Warhammer mini painting with Ben and Pyreon, 38,000 views. That was six months ago. How I became the fastest painter on Twitch. Whenever people do videos like that, they're just trying to like get attention. Painting stream, let's chill out and paint miniatures, 12,000 views for a four hour video. If there isn't content that applies to you, make the content. Like there, there are people like YouTube is the number two search engine, the number two most popular search engine in the world. It's the first. Google. YouTube. Oh, oh shit. YouTube okay. YouTube is a search engine. Pinterest is a search engine. Sure. So the content that people put on YouTube, yeah, you can put evergreen content. And well, I did think of an idea. See, all you need is like someone to just like give you their version of brown noise for you to actually think of stuff. Come up with something, something like go to YouTube and see what you have searched for, right? See what you have searched for. And if you didn't find the content, make the content. Because I guarantee you, you're not the only person on Twitch that, that is painting Warhammer things. You're not the only person who's looking to find out more about painting Warhammer things. I'm saying Warhammer things because I, I don't want to offend. I, I don't know what exactly what they're called. But yeah, like, like do it do it like like the 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 difference between youtube and twitch 
is that on Twitch, you can watch multiple people at a time. You are only, you only count for a certain amount. I think it's three or five that you can watch at a time and you can still get credit for it. But on YouTube, they, they are set videos. Like I, I can watch these at any time. I, I have over 700 videos on my watch later list. That's one playlist on YouTube. And I sit there and I will, right. <laughs> I will randomly go through and, and pick up stuff. I don't know shit about painting figures. I don't know shit about Warhammer. I can guarantee you that I'm going to end up saving one of these videos, especially one of the ones that has like, what is it? Worst Warhammer army I've ever seen. 524,000 views. eBay miniature rescues. I'm probably going to uh, put that on my watch later list because I like watching random stuff and learning. Make the content. At the very least, film what you're doing and then see what people say. If if people watch, cool. Somebody, if, I was... if people don't, then then you can kind of like do your own thing i was having a conversation with somebody that moved to youtube from twitch and they told me that what's best about it like yes the, the viewership is is lesser on youtube but um what's best about it is that he doesn't have streamers hanging out in his chat um I found that statement rather odd, and I, it might be the communities and and maybe an expectation. Maybe he's been taken advantage of before. I'm not sure, um, but that's part and parcel of of streaming everywhere. I think is is other other content creators are going to hang out. Like intention matters, but I like you know I don't have anything to offer anyone here other than just. Maybe, maybe some advice if I have some good advice. Um, but I can't, I can't make anyone grow or, you know, become famous or whatever. But I've met some of the most amazing people. And then I saw another one. Um, oh, if, if people pop into your chat, say hi, and then they leave. Um, you've got to really question why they're there. Do you know how many times I do that throughout the day? I, I pop into, I, I I channel hop all day because I'm on mobile most of the time and, and I can only spend a short amount of time and I want to say hello because I, I care about these people. Um, I, I don't know, people... What's up, Sony? How you doing? Thank you. Um, I, think, I think expectations and intention matter more than anything else and... I, I don't know. Maybe I see the best in people. I, like if you're here because you think I can help you get a few more viewers or whatever, like, hi. <laughs> I don't. I don't care. I'm just. I'm gonna tell you what I just told Senpai. Like, like film the content, put the content up, see what happens. I'm here for the chats, bro. Seriously, and that, that that's the allure. Do you know how many times I've started watching someone's content and they're talking about something that I'm really interested in, but I I cannot, I, I cannot. I ended up putting them on, I usually put everybody on 1.5 or 1.75 speed uh, because they, they don't have a good cadence. I don't really care to hear them talk. I just want the information. Sometimes if it's like late at night and they have captions, like good captions, I'll just turn the sound off and I'll just read the captions. Queeb actually has a good voice. He has a good cadence. Uh, he's very relatable. And I think more people are, are interested. And that's why you have gotten as far as you have because you're like a lot of people say oh he's he's like he's the santa claus i've, I've seen somebody a couple of people say that, like he's the santa claus of twitch like he's just very like very jolly and very happy and jolly. Very, very like very chill and it's like very very good vibes and and that's what people go to you let like a bunch of people say dad vibes you you absolutely give off dad vibes so, he, so here's another um thing on at, at, at twitch 
TikTok thing that's come back around. It's it's Friday after all, so uh, yep, here we are again this week. Um, I, I don't know why I've just completely lost my train of thought there. I get I get really passionate in my brain sometimes, and it's difficult for me to articulate, and then I forget things. It'll come back. Anyway, you have dad vibes. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I think you would be good mm. to... I remember. Go ahead. So, I, I mentioned this before, like I said, smaller creator, right? And and that's, I'm not, I'm not saying you're less than. I. Here's the thing, I still consider myself to be a smaller creator and... and the, the topic that comes back around is lose that mindset, right? Um, I'm not saying I'm, I'm less than or whatever. Um, it, it's, a, it's a very easy way to distinguish where I'm at in my journey with streaming. Um, and people look at, you know, like I'm, I'm a hundred viewer Andy, right? And they think that that's like I'm I'm a I'm some big leagues player now, which is laughable. Can't even pay my fucking rent half the time. Um, but it's it's it, I guess it's relative because where I want to get to. So I here's the thing with income that this is the way I look at it now. The money that I earn. I want to get to a point where it affords me less stress and more time. If I can do that, then that's that's when I've succeeded. And I don't uh, I, I don't need to be a millionaire. Just look at so love him or hate him, Asmongold is is very down to earth. Um and I heard him a couple of days ago refer to himself for the first time I've heard him say this as a multi-millionaire. Um, but he lives a simple life. He, he, he wanted to take care of his family. He's like, that's, that's all he wants to do. Um, and that, that really resonated with me. Hoping metrics will benefit with your long viewership. Well, I, look, anyone anyone that leaves a lurk on, lurkers, you've heard this time and time again, are are super important to any streamer. Lurkers are like the bread and butter of Twitch, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Unfortunately, Twitch is a, um, a, a popularity contest, right? So you go to a, if you're looking for a game, you go to the, the game browse page and it's sorted by default. Um, Viewership, by viewership, top to bottom, right? Um, so your 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 channels with higher viewership are, are at the top of the page, and and they it's just in descending order from there. It's it's very simple, um, but the problem with that, and it's the same reason I dislike Reddit as much as I do, is that it's it's self sustaining, right? Um, you will get the occasional uh, smaller creator getting raided by someone uh, by by you know someone doing very well or whatever. Uh, a feedback loop. Thank you. That's that's exactly right. Echo chamber. Same same deal. You never go to the top stream. Look, I I'm, I I. That's that's one when I when I choose the games that I play. Half the time I'm I just want to try something new. I want to dip my toes in, and give it a shot. If I if I like it, and we stick with it. If not, whatever. <laughs> Steam has a two-hour refund policy for a reason, right? Oh, remember that, Miss Queep, since you'll probably be spending cash on a lot of games. Noted. I'm a. Uh... That that is one of the downsides of looking at these games. My brain is I'll because I I have a design background. I I 
have a marketing background, I'll see the thumbnail and the name. And if that pulls me in, I don't even click until I look over at that price. Because, oh, the, uh, yeah. because in, in this in this house, this baby grew up being a poor baby. So th this baby knows to like look for a deal. So even even if they have like like slashed it, if there's like like maybe like if they took a dollar off of like a, a $20 game, I'm like, ooh, ooh, I'm saving money. And then like it's like, oh wait a second. That's a $20 game. Let me go see what the reviews were. And a lot of people for Lake, I I took the gamble with Lake because uh, the few reviews I saw said, oh, you can get this done in four hours. It's not worth it's not worth the money. Don't do it. It's it's a waste. I'm like, eh. yeah, but I really want to play it. Wait, so, one of the reviews said that? A lot of a lot of the reviews said that it's it's not worth the money. Um, oh, I hate that! I game. hate that fucking yeah, premise. So All that says is that this developer who created this piece of art isn't worth what? my cash mm -hmm. because yeah, they so view time spent as you know more than more than the product. And I, I, I don't know how else to say that. Right? Yeah. Uh, so I, I am having to to now be conscious of that. I'm, I'm probably definitely not going to go as, as crazy about games as you do. <laughs> like, like you'll randomly go on a, on a, on a spree, uh, but like, like, oh, hey, they're having a sale. L let me buy like 80, 84,000 games. Ask chat, chat can back, back me up on this. When it <laughs> no. came to buying stuff in the sale, I was, y I only I'm, picked mainly stuff that was on like, deep discount. Like, yes, you know? now, now you're being, you're, you know, you're behaving. We have a good reason. Uh, move command, please. And, uh, but, but even, even prior, like, like th this is your job. This, this is your job. You stream yep. with, with very rare exception. You stream every day. Almost. Yep. Believe me. I know. Every day. You had a card of 10, called down to two. See, that's me. Like, like I would I would have, like right now on my wish list, I tend to wish list everything just to like wish, let me Steam wish list is really good because you'll get, and it's good on Steam's behalf, very smart business move, but you'll get emails whenever stuff goes on sale if it's in your wish list. Oh yeah, see, They're I- very I, fucking clever about that. I, I very deliberately, uh, I have, a lot of emails and I don't check my email at all unless somebody says hey did you get my email I'm like oh wait a second yeah I can I can check my email for you and then and only then I'm like oh hey steam sale cool that's fantastic otherwise I don't follow it um is is that best adult practices absolutely not am I a lot happier for it absolutely I am uh, but I I, I keep everything on the wish list and like going back, I'm like, oh my God, like, like, really? Like, like I put, I've had this on my list like four years, really? Yeah, you gotta go that? through and cull every now and again. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I'm, I'm, well now I'm having to do that more frequently, but. Uh, I, I would say that since I've been wish listing games, my taste has changed over time. So some of the games that I might've been interested in, like City Skylines, for example, right? There's no fucking way I'm gonna sit down and play uh, a building sim, um, so that that got removed. Whenever I realized, uh, I made that judgment call, and I said, "Well, that's not my thing anymore. I I just get rid of it. it doesn't hurt anyone. Well, it may do. Somebody just mentioned that wish lists do help smaller devs, and it does because I think that's a metric they can both track and uh, market." I think so. Yeah, it, it's similar to uh, to uh, putting uh, small independent artists, uh, like singers and whatnot, uh, like what, what what's it called? Like like their music hasn't come out yet, but like like it's not a pre order because you're not paying for it. But but like you're you click the link in their bio and um, you you essentially pre add the music that way whenever it comes out it, it it comes up in your stuff the uh record labels they use that as a metric like how many people ha are anxious 
to to hear your stuff how many people mm -hmm. want it already it is just like one one of countless fucking metrics that are out there that i'm now having to learn about yeah miss queen had to remind me the other day and, and i made a tiktok on this as well it's uh, it, so there's another thing going around tiktok it's like is talking about your success and that's relative is it bragging or is it is it like just being proud of the work you do and i responded to this video and i said dude you, you need to celebrate every fucking win and I, I didn't even take my own advice the reason i made that video was the night before Ms. Quib and I were talking about money, and it's a conversation we hate, but we have to have it. And um, and she called me a full-time streamer, and I, I kind of smirked. She said, "No, like that's that's what you do. That's this is your job now." And that's literally the third time that it has happened. <laughs> it 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 does not sink in for you, and I don't know if it's because you have streamed for so long. And and you weren't it's, a full time streamer, and now you are, and maybe your brain isn't accepting it. So it's it's hearing my dad's voice in my head every single time I think about what I've done. It's comparing what I make now to the job that I had, which was five times what I make on Twitch, um, and it's. It's kind of that that self doubt thing as well, which I mean I live with that. Um, and when I say my dad, like my dad was very supporting when I got into acting. He was like, he was he was good about it, but at the same time he would ask one specific question, and anyone who's dipped their toes into the arts before, even streamers could relate to this. It's how's that acting thing going? Like it's some like it's some far off distant hype dream instead of something that I'm actually very passionate about. Um, and, and he'd say that and he didn't mean anything by it, but people who work traditional nine to five, they had it drilled into them from a very young voice. That that's that's what you have to do, right? Um, but shit's changed. Um, the accessibility of the internet and access to tools and skills you can learn. Like you can, you could produce an entire album if you're so inclined from a bedroom, right? You can code a game at your desk, like. You can do anything you fucking want. The internet's amazing. Um, but the older generations don't realize that. And I'm unfortunately in between... Like, I was born 1980. So, I was born in between my parents' generation and... What are they called? Gen Z, right? He's Gen Z. Millennial. Well, that's what I am. But we're, well, we're, we're smack bang in the middle. You you well yeah but not only that both you and i we are we are technically zennials because we are at the we are baby 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 gen xers and and what um uh one comic i forget her name uh refers to as elder millennials like like we are like well, literally we're, two we're different a, generations a little bit of everything that are kind of mixed in together yeah that that doesn't help i guess like I see, I see people that are, again, telling stories about their life and, and their success and like, you know, people my age, generally speaking, uh, own their own house and run their own businesses. And it, part of me, like you get that little twinge in the back of your neck and you're just like, you know, what if? What if I did stay in university uh, or, you know, what if I didn't drop out of college? Like, whatever, right? Like, you, you ask yourself these questions and I know that's a toxic way to think. 
I know it. Logically, I know it. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's hard to it's hard to it's hard to convince yourself of of what you do sometimes. I work for my dad in an 8 to 5, but he occasionally asks me how many of those people like my stream. I know he's never going to watch my stream, but he tries to understand as best he can. Mine is what... What if I had passed air traffic control school? Honestly, I... I don't tell people what I'm doing until I'm already planning to do it or if I'm already doing it. The only reason why Queeb knew that I was going to stream was because... He was like on me to stream. Um, I did not, do not, will not tell my mother what I'm doing. And that's only partially to do with the fact that we are extremely low contact. It's also because she had that, that, tell me about that, the, that thing you're doing. Are you still doing that? It breaks like, my heart. I, I can, yeah. Somebody said earlier, I can, I can hear it. I can hear that yeah. voice, right? I know, I know exactly what you're talking about. And I, it's that, it's that, it's that. It's like very flip. Like, Semi-curious, the but there's, that? there's, there's judgment in that. Curious. It's like, oh, oh, that, li that little thing you were doing. Oh gosh. How is that? That's so cute. And I, I, I figured out extremely early on. I, I do not tell people what I'm doing on the internet. If I'm making websites, whatever, Kui will literally be like, did you buy another domain? I did actually. <laughs> What of it? What are you going to say? I just, I got to a point where every single time anyone talked to me about these things, especially, especially my mother, it was, tell, tell me about this little thing you're doing. Oh, that's so cute. Um, what about a real job? And anytime, like at first I would try to combat that where I would be like, well, actually, you know, I, I, do work 40, 40 plus hours a week at a real job. And I I do not like it. I don't thrive there. I feel, I feel almost like my, my life is threatened. Like I'm just, I'm not happy. And that older generation equates that to, we'll just suck it up and do it. I did it. Sometimes we have to do what we don't want to do. <laughs> and it was the combination of those two things. And I had to make a decision with myself, like, okay, even even if if my mental health becomes drastically different like 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 extremely to to like the the farthest it's ever gone i cannot have these conversations with these people anymore can i because can i tell you something real quick go for it that's the reason i wanted you to stream why because both our our self worth has been driven into the ground for various reasons mm -hmm. and yeah. I saw I how much streaming helped me streaming you I think some people see you hear you and a lot of people have a different a different tone when they stream they are they are different when they stream and you are not you you've been going through some stuff the person you are on stream is is almost identical to the person that i first got together with like you seem more like yourself even when you're having like a shit day you seem more like yourself when you are sitting in front of that camera one thing i will say is that people don't like we've we've had a few moments on stream where I've gotten upset at something that's gone on in chat or whatever. It's one thing, but I I mask a lot when I stream because I don't I don't want to drive my entire stream. I don't want I don't I don't want my financial problems or what my last job did to me or any of that shit to be. Well, one it's it's kind of private, but it that's. That's not what I'm about here. I, I want to make people feel as comfortable as I can because the world's shit and people need a place to hang out. 
and, I think you're and doing forget about that. I mean, like, altruistically speaking, yeah, that's 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 where I want to. That's what that's that's what I want to aim to provide. I I totally see you still being you, like still being this person in a year, like still being someone who like are there bad days to stream? Yes. Queeb has actually learned that if if he doesn't feel like streaming, he he cannot stream. He cannot do it. It's going to come off uh, as him being rude or snippy or I can I can feel it coming or, and someone says the wrong thing and I I lose it. And yeah. at that moment I either need to pull the plug or have not done it in the first place. Some yeah. people say and this is something I've, I've spoken to other creators about. Some people say that streaming helps them get out of that funk. I, my brain doesn't work that way. And that's completely okay. Like part of, part of being an adult is figuring that out, figuring out that you have to, regardless of what your parents did, unless your parents are a constant presence in your life and you're talking to them constantly on the phone or they live nearby or you're you're hanging out with them you have to be your own parent and you have to be like okay so i can't stream today i'm i am i am in the worst mood so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to chill out for a couple of hours and then i i need to get down to the bottom of this and figure out what caused me to have this mood? Yep. How did I get here? How do I get out of it? And and having to do that for yourself. What is that? McQueeb is awesome. You're like the guy at the bar who makes you feel better about yourself every time you talk to him. One of my favorite things is when I pop into a Queeb chat, I'm greeted like a friend and ask how my day is. It always makes my day a bit better. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get... Like this, there's always this like... So you have to be careful being a, a creator as well, right? There's a... It's an unfair, one-sided relationship, right? So there has to be a line where... You have to draw... Where, like, the, the personal stuff has to stay personal for my mental well-being. Um, but I, I've started to want to get to know people's habits more and more. Like if I see somebody streaming throughout the day, I, I might not even say hello in their chat. I'll just be watching because as Swedish fish just said, um, if I feel comfortable in someone's chat, I will, I will revisit that channel over and over again. And, and I'll call some of those people, my friends, it, it's more of a professional friendship, but at the same time, like they inspire me and want me to be better. And if I feel like I can just forget about my, my head's a mess, but if I can forget about the noise in my head for just a little bit, um, it makes me feel better. Um, you have no idea last night, seeing the joy Ms. Queeb had in her stream playing, uh, unpacking and she was into it. And I haven't seen her like that in, good it's a good moment oh um thank you. and that and that just made my day that was it huh that's all it took um but like I, i'm trying to get into the habit of of if those people uh visit this stream i'll try to like bring up or I'll ask them about the game specifically that they were playing because I want them to know that they're seen as well and uh, I don't know I, there's, there's no success recipe for, for streaming as much as people want to sell that to you um, I, I've found the success that I've achieved I found that through just being myself I was about to say, like, I, I think the formula is to to be yourself. And when I say that, calm down. When I say that, I don't mean be yourself now. I mean, be that version of yourself that you've always wanted to be. 
and I think I think people's default is well, especially my default. That's, was, a, that's a Filza emote. Yeah, there you go. There's a fan. It's very it's the uh, real one there. <laughs> oh well, I uh, I I need to be more talkative, and I need to be more charismatic and and bright colors and loud sounds and and that's what i need to do and that's that's not it i mean if that's you then that's it but if it's if if it's not you then it's that's fine i met i met Phil. i hung out with him at tw uh, twitchcon 2019. Yeah. um ubiquitous said once i'm in a funk it's so hard for me to get out of it and i hate that about myself it's um I've only, so far, I've been streaming for a month and five days. It's already been a month and five days. And I, uh, I have not purposely not streamed because of my mood one day. And it, it was a couple weeks ago. And it was because I, I had two bad streams back to back. It was like, it was, it just, it wasn't clicking no matter it, it it very it's not like chat got away from me but it, it was like a very weird vibe and yeah. a few people brought the vibe down and so like i do four streams a week well i'm 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 going to be picking up a fifth one but at the time i was doing four so i did like thursday friday and i was trying my best and it was just such a shit mood and and it was just it was not working whatever we played and then uh, and so Saturday, I'm like, I can't do it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't feel like it. I, I can't do it. And that was like a last minute decision. And then normally I would wake up early on Sundays and stream. I'm like, you know what? I don't fucking care. I, I'm, I'm still pissed. I need to work through this and get over it. In case anyone was curious, there was a, a couple of people in chat that, for lack of a better word, sucked the air out of the room. Um, and it made everyone uncomfortable even even the streamer and that's not a good place to be it uh yeah it, it's like it, i'm in a very weird position because i'm starting streaming i have streamed before thank you sir Ramo. thank you i haven't streamed anytime soon i don't know what type of content i want to stream i know what the end i want the end result to be and I know that I am not there yet. I'm not even close to to having that level of production. And, and in terms of me feeling comfortable enough to do it with a camera on me, that's that's the thing. And I'm already this this sounds like shit. I'm already making concessions. Uh, I'm like I'm I hate my stream. I love my stream, but I hate my stream because it's not what I want. And so literally, anytime I I have time, I'm I'm checking on it. I'm also nothing has changed around my house except the fact that we're adding stress about a move and let me tell you girl i i don't want to stream at all i don't want to do anything at all when i when i say i want to drive to hawaii it it, it is not a a a joke it might be a promise at some point like it is i am frustrated what's up dt fish loot hi dt um, I think, um, in regard to what Koal just said, if I can get past the go live button, it helps get me out of that funk, but it's because my brain is heavily reliant on patterns and schedules and streaming is a recurring pattern for me. For me, that is what I'm, I'm having to look at. I, the first, I want to say it was like the first week I was running late or something, or, or I thought I was running late. Like, I still, I still get jitters before I start. Like, I want to make sure everything's perfect. I know it's not, and that's the whole thing. And Kui was like, well, you know, it's fine. You know, you can just start late. I'm like, no, I have a schedule. I'm sticking to the schedule. I need to stick to the schedule. So do I. <laughs> the schedule. I'm not talking about you. I'm not calling you out. I can call you out if you like. But the only real schedule that I have that, that I have to adhere to is the stream schedule. I have to. I have to adhere to it. Which means if I'm streaming, that means I have to wake up early and I have to make sure that that I don't have to go to run any errands or whatever. And I have to make sure that the dogs are in a certain place by this time. And I have to make sure that I 
I have a, I set it in my calendar. I have a block of when I stream, and then I have what I call, I call my own pre-show, which is the hour leading up to my show, which is where I am making sure everything's going good. If I want to randomly last minute change something, I can do it. They are in my schedule. I have alerts that happen the day before, two hours before, and an hour before. I am making sure that I am on it. It's gotten to the point where Miss, my wife doesn't like asking for help. And I told her, I said, even if I'm dead asleep and you need help with something, get me up. Like, because this is important for you, and and I I I, I give you pre permission to, to, to do whatever we, it takes to get me up. We actually this this was a a thing because you're like no 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 just get me up it's fine if you have any problems get me up. I'm like no no because you just said get me up if you have any problems i don't even know what's going to be happening like like an hour from now much less a year from now but i can assure you i won't have any problems that's how my brain works because you have given me an out you have said if i have any problems i'm not going to have any problems and so i sat there and i'm like i need you to say hey I am around to help. If the stream breaks, if anything happens for any reason, wake me up. And I, I'm like, I need you to say these words. And he's like, yeah, do it. No, 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 no. I need you to say the words. If the stream breaks, if something bad happens or something little or any reason, you have full permission to wake me up. I need you to literally say those words. And he's like, well, yeah, yeah, of course. I want you to. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm like, is this, is this like, this is like a Taurus sun, Taurus moon thing, right? Like I am being punished. Like, like on the daily I'm being punished, but especially this, right? Because the, I am asking you to, to just, just hand this to me. And it has been ridiculous. I picture Miss Quee prepping for a stream like a power lifter, getting ready for a deadlift, smelling salts, and people slapping her on the back. And it's just <laughs> thank you. And I also want to point out, uh, Kragen said, "You'll get there. You're going to need more time. Uh, you're going to need time to morph Sorry, the stream just, into what you." What did can I just? I'm having trouble reading that. Taurus is best, he said. Taurus, Taurus is not best. Taurus is the worst. I can assure you. I can assure you. What Kragen uh, just said. You're not going to want to hear this, but I, no I, more I truth. My, you, you know what I'm going to say already. My, my stream will take time, and I understand that. I understand that. However, however, I'm a firefighter son with six Virgo placements. You cannot tell me that. My stream is not perfect right now. My stream will never be perfect. No, you, it never would be. Do you do Why, you, why know, do you want it to be? No. Do you know how disheartening that is? I understand it logically. As, as a as a as a human, I understand it. However, six Virgo placements say that you are absolutely wrong. And I literally have to work to not actively hang up the stream. It's yes, they're a bad day. Sure, 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 sure. However, the it it, it doesn't look the way it does. It drives me nuts. Like I, I go into a panic before stream. Look at it now day. versus look at it day one. I know. And then it, it's uh, exacerbated whenever Queeb will will text me. Are you going to stream? How's everything? Like any any little thing. And I know he's he's he believes he is helping. It is not, and it's not because he is not being helpful it's because i have a checklist of what i need done and when i when i come to something that needs work i will say hey how do i get the thing to do it like hey i'm pushing the little gear thingy and nothing is working like what do i do 
I'm not thinking about that an hour before. I'm thinking about it in the order it comes up on the checklist because I am a Virgo. I need checklists. Absolutely. The last 20% takes twice the effort. Scorpio Cap Aries Power, get your fancy shorts out of here, sir. Looks at birthday, sees Halloween. I wish though, dude. I mean, for Pete's sake, I got one model done, a second nearing completion and starting work on two more because I found things I started. I, I Like, I totally get it. It's nitpicking. I get it. I totally get it. So striving, striving for perfection is it, it, it can potentially stop you from starting. Um, a lot of streamers have that problem. They're like, I don't have the right gear. I don't have, um, you know, like the, the scenes aren't perfect and, and I don't. Oh, I get it. And that's, I, I have been trying to start, don't even, don't even start that fatal. We're, we're not, we're not going to have a Zodiac war. We're not going to do that. <laughs> we're going to do that. Girl. Yeah. I won't understand who, which uh, team to go for. <laughs> the, uh, I've, I've tried starting streaming since, since before Queeb. Streamed? Hey, Modern Pizza, I'll get you, man. Thank you, Modern. We can do that. And, like, little thing, like, yeah, there were some, like, mechanical issues come up. Like, like for starters, we cannot stream at the same time. We right. can't do it. If, if both of us are talking, we can't, we cannot. It, it's I'm, too I'm, much of an I'm echo. I'm hoping, not that I think this is a will become a reality just because of our budget but i'm hoping we will be able to stream from separate rooms and have the internet throughput to support that um, yeah. um if it does cool if not it's cool whatever um but it was like that and then um not knowing what i wanted the stream to look like like, like not having a vision for it like queeb Queeb was just like, well, just turn on the cam, just stream, just stream a game. I don't know what game to stream. I don't know one. Like, what kind of game do you want to play? I don't want to play any of them. Like, very, very stubborn. Let me process my thoughts. There was, Let me there was not just stubborn. I think that was very defensive. Um, that's, that's from, that's your trauma, right? And it, it comes out in the worst possible moments. Um, even, even, yeah, when, when you, and I've got to learn to see it, what it is, and not take that personally as well. It definitely, definitely is trauma that I'm having to work through and figuring out, like, like having to navigate what that is. Like, like in the moment, I know that I'm, I am getting frustrated now in july of 2022 i understand these to be outbursts that are somewhat indicative of someone with autism traits i understand that i also understand that having trauma makes it worse and that's a whole thing and then having a husband who has experienced trauma makes it worse and it's like it, we, we it, sometimes it, like we don't always get to talk to each other every day, um, but sometimes we will say things that are relatively benign, but there's a there's a snapback, right? And and neither of us is at fault here. It's it's not us talking when that happens. Um, but I think recognition of that is the most important thing. I literally just saw a TikTok on this today. Oh, really? The video, it, it's, I want to say it's from last year. It's from a, a comedian on TikTok. And it's her and her roommate. And so she's on the bed in her room and her roommate walks in and he says, or, or the, like the, the premise is POV, both you and your roommate have suffered trauma. And so he comes in the room and he's like, hey, so this isn't a big deal. And she's like, oh my God, what? Oh my, oh my God. <sighs> what is it? What, what, just, you can tell me, you can tell me. And he's like, I'm, I'm coming to you from a place of love. And I, I understand that we're on the same page. And I know that you don't deliberately do things 
to to hurt me and she's like oh my god this, this, oh, just, i am so sorry the last thing i would want to do is to hurt your feelings and make you feel like like you are are not worthy of love and respect and i am so sorry and and he's like and i'm sorry too and and i hate that i even have to say anything like this but i want to make sure that i respect you and i respect me and they just go back and forth and then he's finally like do you think it is possible that you can help me take out the trash? And she's like, oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, I, I will absolutely help you with the trash. Thank you for, for to having this discussion with me. I'm like, holy shit. Oh. That, that is it. Like, like I will, I'll drop the link in the discord, but it, it is, are you kidding me? You don't have to razz me like that oh. so much. And som sometimes I, Sometimes I wish that Queeb did not exist as a human. I wish that, like, like same way that I, I, I wish that I were the only person on the planet. I don't want anyone to perceive me. And then other times I want to make sure that he's like, like, that I am not offending him by my presence. Because I, I know, I know how I am. And, and I know that I am, I am two handfuls. And I completely understand that. And someone who respects me will will understand and receive and accept and respect that I am two handfuls. But at the same time, I can still feel very conscious of the fact that I am two handfuls, not one, but two. If I'm if I'm helping Ms. Queeb with streaming stuff, um, it can go one of two ways and it can go that way very quickly. It's either um, me explaining something rather matter-of-factly, I guess. Um, and then she thinks that I'm frustrated at her. Um, or, like, like what, what happened? What was it the other day? You wanted to... We are talking about the chat bubbles on screen or something, right? And I'd seen a really cool TikTok. And I said, oh, check this out. And we ran over to my computer, and I think I'd bookmarked it. And I brought it up, and she's like, yeah, that's perfect. And we got really excited about it. Like, it's... it's Things either go very good, or they go very bad. And when I say they go very bad, it's either me having a, a meltdown, or it's him having a meltdown, especially if it's audio problems. <sighs> like, which I feed off of, because he completely shuts down. And my response lately has been okay we're gonna remove you from the situation and as much as i hate turning into the mom i i have to like turn in like like step up into those shoes and and be like he's not parenting himself he needs a parent step away from the computer everything is fine we don't need to worry about audio problems at 5 30 in the morning <laughs> i'm one of we those don't people need to. yeah i'm one of those people where if there's a technical problem it needs to be resolved now it has to be right then uh, and i will i will take as long as it needs if i need to stay up 24 yeah. hours to do it i probably will because, because nothing stresses me more than technical problems and then i oh. if, if i have okay fatal thank you so much for letting us know if i if i don't uh, talk to you before i leave thank you so much for uh for being polite and i will i will see you next time have a good night folks having uh having the potential for for fallout like that and and turning 42 and and parenting myself and whatnot i've gotten to the point where i if something starts to frustrate me i will walk away because i know it's not going to work out it's not going to be good and maybe i don't know maybe it's my fucking special eyes i need eye drops Maybe I need to take a dog out. Maybe I need to like just go lay down. Maybe I just need to get my head out of it. And I I can see that and I can take care of myself and go. Does it bother the piss out of me? Absolutely, but I can still walk away. Queeb, I love you and respectfully, you cannot. Mm -hmm. You you either choose not to, don't care, don't want to whatever. You will not and you will sit there and you will fester and you you will get so frustrated and let it bring you down. And then I am now 
completely brought down because I'm not going to leave you in here to work on something, especially if it has to do with my stream. I'm not going to leave you in here to deal with that on your own. That's rude. Yeah. Um, but now my schedule is completely upended because I'm making sure that this motherfucker is working on fucking audio at 530 in the morning. When I told him two hours ago, I was going to bed. It's it's a whole thing. And I mean, it Later, is senpai. Senpai, thank you so much. Um, I hope I wasn't too aggressive earlier. Uh, I love you very much. I will see you next time. But having having the the respect for for him and for myself and removing myself from the situations and making sure that we we maybe not go after audio problems and like no I can figure it out I can do it and and having make sure that Zoe's out of the room so she doesn't make a noise that sets him off and and turning the the fan like the fan can't even touch him because he's so. Up. Yeah, when I get when I get lost in a technical issue, it's it's bad bad news for everybody. It is, and and I'm gonna scold you a bit. It shouldn't be. Oh, I know that. It should not. <laughs> I know that. Like it it it's just audio problems. Well, it's just I mean, it's it's any, but audio it brings out the worst uh, because audio it's... is is by far the worst. But like, yeah, it's like it. The, the, one of the reasons for that is that. And, and I don't know if, if you know otherwise this is open to everybody um, but audio is, is probably the most important thing in a stream when when I said today in stream um, I, I came in and I I did this motion which means tap on the top of the mic because she's got a wave which, by the way I fucking can't stand it I cannot stand it. to know I won't do it anymore it really pisses me off or whenever you like you'll talk and you're pointing to my headphones and I'm like, this motherfucker, what? L like, it, it is annoying. It, it is annoying. I'm just no. letting you know. No, no, that's that's valuable. Um, and I said, oh, because um, I, I, I woke up late. Um, I couldn't hear anything from the other room because Ms. Queeb had both doors closed. And I was like, she's streaming. So I, I logged on to Twitch on the phone. Sure enough, there she was. Uh, and I was just watching for a bit and I I couldn't make out the game audio. It was, it was, it was there, but it was really quiet. Um, and because we haven't tweaked the audio yet with her microphone, the background noise, I could hear a little bit as well. So it, for, for my liking as a viewer, it, it, wasn't where I thought it could be. So I just, I came in and I, I opened the door and I said, hey, the, the game audio is a bit quiet. And then I didn't realize, but chat had already given multiple feedbacks prior to that moment. Um, and chat can be less than gentle when speaking about feedback. And uh, I was on the receiving end at that point. I, I didn't realize what I'd done. So when audio issues kept being spoken about, I was like, nah, I'm, I'm out. I'm done. I don't want to, I don't want to be part of this anymore for now. I'm going to be very careful with what I say and how I say this. I believe it is the fact that I am a new streamer and that I have people in your chat who watch me and and who who have taken time out of their day to watch me and i love that and i appreciate it so much i think that some of them are so invested in my success that they will hey hey i just want to let you know can you can you like increase this one thing and hey can I, this this looks kind of weird can you move it over and it has gotten to a point where i i appreciate you, you, you it, you're you're all like my big brothers it, it's so super dope of you. Could you fucking not? Like, it is so frustrating because I don't even get the chance to look back at VODs to see what any mistakes or mishaps are for me to recognize it on my own. It's just at a point where where people are just like, oh my God, I, just, I have to, I know this is, this is, it's, I'm sorry, it's going to bother me. I have to tell you this. Is that okay if I tell you this? And I get it, 
Queeb wants me to succeed. Everybody wants me to succeed, and I get it, but it's like when everyone dogpiles me, overwhelming the, yeah. but like what i want to do is turn like like be like okay thank you so much i really appreciate you guys i will see you next time okay and it's just bleh. hey solid seven how you doing solid, how are you i actually did something similar um elemental silver good friend of the channel um he i went into his channel and he had an i i don't know exactly what it was but if I was working through the, the process, I think he had an audio filter applied to everything, not just the microphone, but to the game as well. So I could hear, because I, I know the games that he's playing, I could hear that it sounded too bassy, a little bit muffled, right? And I gave him that feedback and I hate I hate doing it, right? Because if I, if I send him a message, and he's not going to see that till after stream. He may want to fix it right now. It's probably too big of a problem. And I, I think about all this in a split second, right? And uh, and I think I, I blurted it out in chat and I instantly felt regret doing that. Somebody came in the other day and said, um, oh, the audio mix is a bit different, right? And I've, I've got hardware right. devices that assist me with that. And they said that... It's, it's a little bit too weighted towards Queeb, and I'm like, yeah, that's by design. It's, it's set up the way I like it. <laughs> it's, it's very tough. It, uh, it absolutely is. I think... I'm, I'm still... Look, I'll tell you to fuck off. But I'm, I'm gonna go cry will, about yeah. it. But I, I will tell you to fuck off. And... I'm having to to put the those pants on and put that hat on and be like, okay, cool, that's fine. Yep, mm-hmm, yep, that's broken, yep. Mm-hmm, yep, yep, the volume is from set, yep. Mm-hmm, yep, yep. And so what I ended up doing today was me getting dogpiled by people simultaneously saying that my audio was too loud and too quiet. I turned the game audio off. Like just for a few, just for a few minutes. I could, I could tell by Miss Queep's tone. I'm, I'm, I'd like to think that I know you better than anyone else on the planet right now. And I could tell by the tone of your voice and the fact that you were kind of semi joking. You're doing your best to make light of a situation. You... Oh, I was, I wasn't making light. That's not what I meant. But... <laughs> I, I wasn't trying to, to. Uh, to sugarcoat it at all, like I, I was giving myself uh, space to process because in that moment I, I don't have an ang any anger issues, and it, it's because I, I strive to not. You always hear about like people. Uh, Oh, I'm so I'm so mad. I just I I had to throw something, or like I, I have to go let aggression out. And you always hear about that. And I that is not me. I am. I think that's dangerous. Um, so I I accept that I am angry. I accept I am frustrated about something, and I am processing it. And I'm either going to tell you to go fuck the fuck off, or I'm going to say something like. Okay, um, that's fine. So I went ahead and I've turned off all of the game music. Um, that's exactly so what that, happened that, today. That's the problem, right? Luke, like, you have like a good night, man. Somebody said that it was it was too quiet, and somebody said that it was too loud, and like I'm getting dogpiled. So we're just gonna turn all of the sound off. Is that okay, Sugar? Is that fine? I did. But, like, I did something exactly the same. Somebody had commented more than once on the placement of the webcam. I think it was in Isaac, and it was covering, or half covering, the, the cards that I had available to me. Um, so I put the, the webcam right in the middle of the screen, right on, right on Isaac. And, and I, I was just, I was being silly, but I was also making a point, like, 
You have a TikTok on this, I believe, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's good. It's a good moment. Oh well, it wasn't a good moment for for me emotionally, but it was a funny moment. Yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. It's like totally cool of you. Greatly appreciate it. I do want to hit it on a couple of comments. Ramp. I don't even know how to say your name. Hold on. Ramp. Ram Fornicus. Ramp Hornicus. <laughs> Either work, I guess. <laughs> Ramp. Rampy. Hi, Rampy. How are you? Uh, he's a, or they say, sorry, didn't mean to misgender you. Greatly appreciate streams with good audio more than I have thought a few years ago, but I almost never get feedback for the reasons you mentioned. I think if, if the person's, and, and I, I make a point of, of doing exactly this. Ram for Incus. Because of what I've seen go on in Queeb's streams. I periodically say, hey, does everything sound good? Like, is every is everything all right? Like, you're going to have to let me know. I'm still new at this. And and I just kind of, I lean into that because I can get away with it right now. I've, I've only been streaming for like a month. And at the time, th th this, this is like, this is what just kills me. Is at the time, no, everything sounds great. No, everything's good. Well, that's, an, then, that's another thing. It, and then people's while perception is, is going to be different, right? <laughs> right. And then while I'm in the middle of playing the very same people, this simultaneously, this is too loud. This is too quiet. And I was just like, you know what? Mm -mm. Largess and went to and wasted magic and Ted 3959. And there's like so many. Oh, my God. Too big to fail. Thank you. you you are a delight. Very kind. Seriously, thank you so much. We're we're just goofing. We're just we're just new boot goofing. That's all we're doing. We're just hanging out. We're doing what? We're new boot goofing. No, Haven't you seen that? No. It, it's a, it's a meme. You need to go to thousands. Oh. You need to go to YouTube and look it up. It's you will appreciate it. Uh, my wife is from the south, and bless her heart, is like there you're dumbass. Oh yeah, I, if a southern woman says that, you fucked up. I, <laughs> I purposely won't say that because now everybody knows the secret. You guys have been telling people you can't be doing that because now I'm scared of saying that and somebody saying, excuse me? What did you mean by that? What's going on? Oh, bless your heart. If someone has their audio settings to a place I can't stand, I'd be impressed. Uh, personally, I welcome feedback if the game is too loud and drowning me out, but other feedback that can get fixed post-stream is appreciated as I'm a DM. I'm a queeb. I... That's worth a screenshot. I'm going to use that. <laughs> I wish I could I could get everything down to the to the the point where... where pe and, and I don't know if you caught the beginning of it, but... I know that the people who are making the comments about the stream, I know that they they are not saying it to rag on me. They're not razzing me. They're not throwing me under the nope. bus. They want the best for me. They they view me as as like like a friend or like I see them as being helpful big brothers. I'm assuming who would fucking know what an actual helpful brother is? I wouldn't. The, the problem and, is that most people don't understand the value and importance on asking permission to give feedback um, and mm -hmm. or, or the, the correct way to give feedback. And and that's fine. And it's only amplified because it's one, on the internet, two, you're live in front of not just them. Uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, so it's, it's, I know that they're coming from a good place. They want my stream to be the best it can be. However, it means that I I do have a few specific people who are very, very, and I, I'm, I'm only saying like, like, I don't know if they're diagnosed with OCD. They have OCD tendencies and they're like, no, no, no. You need to decrease this one thing by like four you need to move this over like two pixels like like very very specific and and believe me when i'm in the right mind frame i i i like that feedback please tell me exactly what to do like don't say oh just a little bit i can't you know what it, look, it looks okay like like it, lo it looks good it looks good right where it is yeah yeah and and inside you're like that is the ugliest fucking bracelet i've ever seen in my life you know like 
very mean girls and I get it, but but I'm I am I am struggling. I am now, struggling. Now we're talking about the difference between general feedback and specific feedback. General feedback? I've I have toyed with the idea of 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 asking for general feedback, but I just don't I, I don't I don't think that there's a, a and general purpose. feedback is not helpful. No, like, like I need Queeb will will be like I'm not really a fan of that. What do you mean you're not really a fan of it? Tell me. Like, what what is it that's irking you? I I need something. Like, I, I need to know what's going on. Uh, let me see. At the start of the streaming too, I noticed there were more people dropping feedback, but after doing this for a year, I've seen less. I'm I'm hoping that that I can get things to a point at the very least where I can be told things in a in a channel on Discord. Because he, here, here is the hilarious part of this whole thing. The feedback I'm specifically asking, or I'm specifically talking about happened a few hours ago. I have ADHD. Guess who's gonna forget everything that was said? I'm gonna remember that people are bitching. I'm not gonna we're, remember we're what they're saying. We're gonna fix that before tomorrow's stream. I will remember. Who do you watch to sleep to? Some shows I am more animated. Who, who do I watch to sleep to? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you. I, I, honestly, honestly, I scroll TikTok or I, I, whenever I'm in a mood, when I'm in a bad mood, I rewatch Moon Knight. So I was watching Moon Knight last night because it was just, it was a bad night. Um, so I don't, I don't watch streamers. Queeb is a, is a stream person. I watch, uh, well, I usually go to bed when the the day shift starts I've, I've i've even contemplated flipping my schedule but mm, i don't know that's a whole thing because i would i'm i'm not a day person me being myself <laughs> i wouldn't be myself in the morning um but i watch um billy one kirby and dolphin chemist although he streams later in the day now um Cobalt Streak has shifted to morning sometimes. Uh, Northern Lion, if he's live, it, it just depends on on what I'm, what I'm, what I'm in the moon for. But um, Billy, I would say, would be consistently, and he's funny as fuck. I love him so much. I think that you are the perfect nighttime streamer, and. Which kills me because I want the nighttime slot. Kills me. But I think you are perfect for it for exactly what Catfinated said. You are you are a chill stream. Like like it is very chill vibes. Very low it is very, very rare that I hear you making any kind of exclamation after like midnight. So it is it is very chill. Hey, it, it's time for me to wind down for the night. Let me oh yeah, Queeb's great. I'm gonna watch Queeb. I'm gonna wind down and, and go to sleep. Like, Kragen just said to fall asleep. I watch ASMR stuff. It can basically put me to sleep in my chair. We've had people say that that they fall asleep listening to Queep. Yeah, I get that a lot. I So I think it's perfect. I think if you ever switch to daytimes, it's a different vibe because those types of streamers are more like cozy vibe, like cozy streamers where it's like... Well, it's, it's interesting. The, the people that are definitely like making a career of streaming and they're, they're full time and, and they stream Monday to Friday, you know, nine to five kind of thing. Um, there's, you can tell there's a little bit of like a, a there's a regiment. Uh, what's the word? It, it's regimented. Is that, is that a word? Like it, they stick to a strict schedule and it's, um, it's very most of the people that I watch are they have chats that move very quickly well sorry not most but some of the people I watch have chats move very quickly like Northern Line in particular right I I can turn him landscape and not even not even think that there's a chat there he will see messages and respond but it's not it's not the same right in like Billy's chat for example he's got similar viewership to myself um and I know most of the people in there. Like it's it's a cool place to hang out. Uh, 
Velhart is another one. Um, we've we may have even raided him once or twice if if we're if we're up late enough. Yeah, there's there's a few people that I regularly visit. Um, Hollow Shadim, the I, we've raided him a lot actually. He plays uh, FTL. What do you think of the feedback? I saw that. I saw it on Ms. Queeb stream. The responses seemed like all positive. So for example, um, I, I, I like your, your attitude or, or, you know, this is a fun place to hang out. It, it didn't seem like, it, it didn't seem very useful. Like I don't need anyone to blow smoke up my butt. Cause I've seen that. I've seen this on. You have one. You have it on your stream. That's where I saw it. Ah, uh, I did not turn that on. I, I don't even know. You, no, it's not. It's not. I don't. I don't even think it's an option. Is I, it? I, I don't know, but I want to turn that off. Uh, I've actually seen that about you. We have. Well, there's that answer. I have, but I only saw it the one time, and I don't rem. I, I don't remember if I clicked out of it or if I, I just randomly chose one. But I did notice that they were all like. I don't, I, it's, I don't, it's I don't know when, whenever someone says feedback, I assume something that can help me improve the quality of something else. Yep. I, I don't see it as give this person a compliment. I, 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 if I want to give you a compliment, I'll give you a compliment. Hey, my God, your, 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 your beanie's really hot, dude. Like, wow, Folks. look at that salt lamp. Wish I could lick it. Like, I would give you the compliment. I don't need to be... I will ban you if you say that. <laughs> Giving feedback, and this this goes back to, you know, the correct way to give feedback. Um, critical, specific feedback is not a bad thing. Um, like, tell me when I'm fucking up. If, if, if I have an attitude in stream and you feel like, um, you know, my, my ruling on a ban or whatever was bad, don't call me out in chat. That's the worst way to give it because I'm just going to snap back. Shit, you might end up in the same spot, right? Torment. Message me later. Thank you, Torment. Thank you so much, Torment. And say, hey, by the way, when that ban happened, you know, maybe it was a little excessive, whatever. Maybe, maybe that's not a good way to give feedback either, but I'm not even going to get into all that. Yeah, the, the last thing to do is, is call a streamer out in front of everyone else, because it's not going to go well. Oh, I don't, I can't even think of a, a single time where it has gone well, not just for, for, for you, but for anyone like like that is the equivalent i don't know if this is the same thing for guys but for women if you really want if you really don't want to piss someone off do not say look every everything is fine okay calm down <laughs> don't say it don't do it don't don't even start thinking it <laughs> like because <laughs> That it, it it's such it's such a a shit move. And now now that I I know that now at forty two that that occasionally we do say that because we do care about the person we want the person to calm down for their own benefit, like we don't want them to to get overly excited. But it has been co opted to be a way to make you feel like you're a piece of shit. Hey you're being dramatic is essentially what they're saying and having someone express real emotion they're being honest with their viewers and to have someone say yeah i i think it wasn't that big of a deal bro like really are you serious it's also um the new the new phrase that the kids are saying these days are go outside and touch grass <laughs> and while sometimes i think that it is the perfect sentiment it is a way to to diminish what what is being said it's, it's like i'm telling you something i'm using a loud voice i'm i'm using strong words i feel really passionate about this thing and i think that you're really wrong with what you said dude it's not that big of a deal. 
go touch grass. Yeah, saying it, saying it's not that big of a deal. It, one, that's that is diminishing, and it and it doesn't take the person's feelings into consideration. Um, if if well, in this case, it's the streamer. But if anyone finds something offensive, then it's offensive. Period. Like they're not just being sensitive; they're experiencing emotion. Um, I've definitely had a few moments on stream where I I went too far. I'm also willing to admit when I'm wrong. I do like that about you. I do like that you you do have that that ability to to be like, okay, that probably wasn't the best move. Oh, I've I've left streams feeling shit and not being able to forget about a specific instance. Um because I shut someone down or, or whatever, right? Like, I, I'm not I'm not a holier-than-thou person. I, I certainly don't feel good when those moments happen. In fact, the worst thing, it, 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 it takes any calm... I hate the word vibe, but it takes the, the calm vibes entirely away from everyone. Now, everyone's hyper-fixated on this problem that's going on. There's drama. And... and it's not a cool place to hang out anymore. So believe me, when, when, I mean, I rarely ban people. Um, but if that happens, especially to either, like, it, it doesn't, I've banned massive supporters of the channel before because they took support as entitlement to behave differently than than what's expected of everyone that enters the channel. Um, and I've been questioned about it. Oh, I, I supported, and I said, that doesn't give you the right to behave the way you did. Um, but I would certainly rather those situations didn't happen. If someone said that to me, I have, I have donated I've contributed to your channel. Don't don't I get any leeway? I I cannot tell you to the extent to which I would fuck with this person. <laughs> I would if I could, I would refund what they had immediately sent. I would ban them. I would probably comment with another five dollars. Corman, thank you so much. Only five today. Okay, just write, write really that down. We really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I would. Oh, you're you're good, dude. <laughs> don't, don't, okay. I would end up saying something on social media. I probably, if I'm pushed to that point, I would probably leave their username visible. Like I'm, I'm no. I did not spend my teenage years and my twenties and my thirties and 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 up until my forties letting people try to fuck me over and put me into situations where I'll feel bad for hurting their feelings. I'm not going to do that. I won't do it. It's 2022. There's some, um, no. there's a, a thing now. Well, it's not, it's not just now, but there was another situation that arose recently. Um, somebody had gifted 10, 20,000 over over a period of time to a streamer. I don't know if there was an expectation, but it was gifted by a man to a woman. And he uh, initiated a charge back. So now, this is months later, she's 10 grand or 15 grand in the hole on PayPal and PayPal's like, yeah, whatever. Like, we don't care. We're just going to process it as normal, right? Um, and it was held above her head like this sort of Damocles. It's like, fucking hell, man. People are twisted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, there, there are some people that just do not give a fuck. Uh, I've noticed within the last couple of months, especially because I've, I've been working on my own channel and and analyzing people's bios and about pages 
uh -huh. for months, if not years. Like I have a, a fuck ton saved in my notes. Like I just fucking copy the whole thing and I like analyze and see like, would I say that? Is that something I would say? No, hmm. but I, I like the sentiment. Maybe I could reword it like this. And in the last couple of months, there have been this influx of people putting a little blurb on their about page. And I even have one too that says- All tips are final. That all tips are final. Um, There's my privilege showing. I never added that to mine. Mine says, hold on, I will, I will find mine. Mine says, uh, disclaimer, by donating to This Is Channel 3, you are claiming that the money being donated is your money and you're willingly and voluntarily donating this money. You acknowledge that you're receiving no items or services in return for this donation and that the money donated is non-refundable. Fucking hell, what a waste of words. I, I, I will not, I, no, I will not. I, I don't even know if that would hold up, to be honest. You know what? Every, every little bit helps. It, it can't hurt. Oh, and I we don't, that. we don't say donate because we're not charities. We're tipping. I need to add one. I remember Towley said it would happen to him all the way back in the day. And he helped a lot of people to get the tips back. I've, I've seen. Ta I've, Towley? I, I recently discovered that person. That's the only reason why I know the name. Um, I, in, in terms of sex workers, I know that a lot of them are, they do have to be very specific with their wording that they have to use now. Back in the day, um, they had to be exceptionally careful with their wording and everything had to have like, like, by by purchasing this this uh this photo you right. acknowledge that it is a photo it is not a physical photo you will not be receiving anything torment thank you so much these are non bits are non-refundable correct yeah yeah that's, that shit's <laughs> mine now buddy <laughs> thanks dude <laughs> hello daryl how are you emma most streamer said he would come on dropped frames e3 sometimes Oh yeah, I thought those disclaimers were weird, but I never heard of people were calling people. They're, they're for the most part, people are generally good. They are good people. However, the prominence of fuckery sometimes makes it feel like everyone is out to get you, and that you will always get chargebacks, and you will always get this, and you will always get that. And it's, it, 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 it is hard. Um, it, it, and that is, that is one of the things that, that made me think twice about streaming. I wanted to make sure that I was okay, that, that, okay, what if, what if this happens to me? How badly I, am I going to go off? I couldn't what? imagine like being negative thousands in my PayPal account right now especially like that that's that's devastating um uh, th this is some people's income and you can imagine for the the girl that it happened to just recently like that's you're, you're fucked overnight um several years ago i want to say it was it was probably like 15 20 years ago there were th this was it, was it was fucking huge like like now i tried looking it up um when i read about this vip stuff and and it was very difficult to find but this happened it's true so back in the early aughts i don't know what we're calling those the early aughts yeah um, i don't like the the term just because it sounds <laughs> weird but it, i think it is correct yes yeah. it's, uh, it, it does it come from ammunition because there's double aught Oh, shot, which is a specific gauge or something and it's zero zero i think well, it, i don't know maybe art is another oh. I think it's another name for zero i don't know maybe um there were kind of all of the stuff that's going on with or that was going on several months ago with only fans was going on with independent uh independent sites back in the day and to the point where not one oh, with like mastercard or whatever that shit went down mm -hmm. so not one but two major payment processors randomly decided not only were they not going to 
take any more payments for these sex worker websites. And when I say that, I mean uh, any kind of pornography, cam girl, actual sex worker, massage therapist, that kind. Not only were the payment processors not going to accept any more payments, they were going to do a charge back for the last, it was like a last week or two. And in that, in that time frame, there were people, like some of the biggest people on, on the internet at the time, specifically, I remember someone who ended up getting, they lost 80 some odd thousand dollars a day, a day, a day for every day that they did not have their payment processor. Because what happens when your payment processor goes down? Well, you you can't have any more any more payments, right? Mm -hmm. So anyone who has a sub that's coming up due, what happens? Well, I can't process their payments, so I either give them a like like I give I float them free time or I have to cancel them. Right? Mm -hmm. And you can't get any new people in. And right. and in addition, those are subs. What about add-on services? Like what about like 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 selling photos and whatever? It was devastating this to have that much money just gone. And it was all at the whim of of these payment processors yeah. because they were like, oh, there's so many chargebacks. Uh, this this industry is unstable. We're going to go ahead and take our our money elsewhere. We're yeah. just going to go somewhere else. To, uh, to my understanding, that money, like everything got corrected, like the, the payment processors continued on. I do not know of anyone that got their money back, mm -hmm. the money that was charged back. E eBay, what Kragen just said is another, is another one. I've heard stories of people like selling goods and because they didn't have the foresight to take pictures uh they can claim that um oh man um they can claim that and me please like they either never receive the goods or they'll have like a, a broken device at home or whatever right and they'll switch it out and Like the the person that suffers is is the person at the other end, and and they have nothing to to stand on, other than their word. Yeah, we we actually just had someone go through that. Someone in chat. I don't know if they're still here. Oh, the uh, the yeah. Uh, they, they the PS Five. They bought a PS Five. Well, that was that was a scam sale, but I'm talking about like the seller has no protection. Sell it, no, on, on eBay, it's not. Like, even... I trust him now. I trust him now. But our breeder for our snakes, we have five snakes. We've had six. We have five right now. Um, four of them are from the same breeder. And I am exceptionally careful, like, checking checking the snakes when I get them and making sure that, that they, they look good and and everything is documented and he's like okay um you know this is how much it is okay i will send you this much on this pay like i'm i'm covering my tracks as best i can i want to make sure we're both covered and even with uh we received two snakes from other breeders as soon as we received the snakes filming them like unboxing them filming me going I to wish get we the did box that with, I, had, I had a teddy moment today actually it's not not a day goes by i don't have a teddy moment um we we do have footage of me opening teddy's box somewhere but teddy was fine like i i have that because i i want to make sure that they don't have ticks that they don't have any kind of anything at all um and i can't tell you how many times people have talked about don't go with this breeder they uh they they scammed me i i paid for this they they didn't do that there there was like a huge thing i actually had to back out of a, a few different uh reptile groups on facebook because i didn't realize this was a thing um apparent i i, I don't 
I don't do anything with geckos. Geckos aren't my thing. I I, I don't get it. It's fine. It's fine. It, uh, people feel the same way about ball pythons, and I totally understand. So there was this scam, a, a big scam that, that had been going on where people were buying these high dollar geckos and you package the gecko in there there's like a very specific way you package reptiles in a box um you package them up properly make sure that they're snug and secure and you tape the box and you mail the box and then the scam was the person who received them would get the box open it uh take the gecko out reseal the box take the box back outside film them getting the box bringing the box back in saying hey as you can see uh, did you put the gecko in this feels like a scam because i just opened it and this this gecko isn't in here um this seems really shady i mean i don't know i mean i guess maybe he got out in shipping and he slipped out through one of the cracks and it it has become so prevalent and then people seeing these people taking those geckos, photos of those geckos, and sometimes even the original photos, and posting them and saying, hey, I have this for sale, or even worse, hey, I, I'm i expecting, uh, I don't I don't know what the, the term is for, for geckos. For ball pythons, it's a clutch of eggs, but I'm expecting eggs from this gecko and this other one. And, and it's just, People, there are people who will do anything to get your money. They will do anything to get your money. Like, like it is, hey, I didn't receive it. Or, oh, hey, I received this snake and uh, it, it was dead. Now what? And I understand that, they, <laughs> yes, Gecko King. There are people who they're just, they're, and, and I know, I, I, I know people firsthand who have paid good money for a snake or for a, a lizard or, or whatever, and they have received it in the mail, and then within days it is dead. And so now I am I am at the point where is, is it overkill? Absolutely not. And similarly, I will not sell on eBay. I will not sell anything on eBay. I I, I need to sell so much stuff on Facebook Marketplace or on Craigslist, and I don't want to do it. I don't want to do, like like people 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 be scamming, people be scamming. Uh, hold on, what did Kalurian say? The deposit for adoption for Henry was via PayPal. I was terrified I was going to get scammed with no protection. What's what what is scary is whenever they say, oh yeah yeah, you can you can send it to me on PayPal. Do the friends and family option, so uh, so there's no fees. Uh. Except when you do fan friends and family, you will get scammed. The fees are what protect you. And if someone doesn't want to pay an extra like five or ten dollars or whatever, they are going to scam the fuck out of you. Bless you. They're going to take everything from you. Happened to me as a kid when I bought an iguana from a pet store. It was alive for like a week, then it died. This is why for transactions in person, friends and family is over. To be honest, they don't. Oh, they stopped it. Oh, with. Uh, with our current breeder, he lives several hours away from us, and I, I purposely make a trip and drive out there to uh, to pick up and and like see locally. And even this last time I went was back in December. God, that sounds good. Um, when I went to pick up Murphy and Archie, uh, but like like literally going in and, and he like handed me Murphy and I got to like look at him and make sure he looked fine, look at Archie and actually like put my hands on them and what's, but what's still the, like, what's the like, thing I saw on, on TikTok, the mm -hmm. healthy Coke and they make it with balsamic vinegar. So stop, stop. That's, that's foul. It's gotta, it's gotta be fake, right? Every, everybody I've seen that has said it's, that has tried it has said it, it tastes disgusting. So I'm, no, I, it doesn't even factor for me. Balsamic vinegar. And that doesn't that doesn't make any sense for me. Speaking of scams, I was trying to sell a bed frame. Someone wanted to use Zelle, which was a red flag for me. I eventually try the app and get an email saying to send four hundred dollars first to get a business account. And then he tried calling me instant block. Seriously, but fuck off. 
fuck out of here. Basically, any life hack that sounds too good to be true is I'm absolutely. I absolutely agree. Four thousand. Straight up, just just Google balsamic vinegar. Coke. Me? No, not you. You know about it. I do. It's uh. It's got to be vile, but people people say it's legit. But then it's the internet, so. It's, it's, it's to me, in my opinion, professionally. As, as a former professional Coke drinker for her whole life, it is on par with the orange juice and coffee hack. Like, just stop. Just fuck off. Don't care. No. Just just drink the thing. Should you make the jump for the TikToks? What, what do you mean? You're on TikTok. You need to make more TikToks. Do it. Do it. Do it. I, I, I would believe you at the very least. Coca-Cola also says their diet versions and low sugar variants taste the same too. So, you know, it, it, it's... So th this isn't an no. official product, Jermaine. This is like a homemade, hey, this kind of tastes like blank. What was the other one recently? It was um something to do with watermelon. It was like a cucumber and something added. Um... It, it, and it tasted some, like watermelon. It was some spice. I don't remember, but yeah, like, like just fuck right off. The the orange juice and coffee drink. It's literally. I want to say it's like it's mostly coffee and a little bit of orange juice, and it's supposed to taste phenomenal. But everyone's like the orange juice overwhelms it. It's the same way with the balsamic and the the soda water. It, it's it's literally like there's there's not many flavors in the world i would imagine that would be stronger than balsamic vinegar it is way high on the flavor scale right like, <laughs> scientifically you could do that with a lot of things but why well, supposedly it's it's is there sugar in it still i, I don't know what the recipe is there, well i don't believe there's any sugar in balsamic vinegar and no no, no not in the vinegar but what's added the soda water Mm -mm. Sparkling water. There's something to cut, cut the vinegar. What is that? Or is it just vinegar and soda water? What? It, it it's literally a splash of balsamic vinegar, and it it's sparkling water. And some people have been doing flavored sparkling, like like a. Wait, I don't believe that for a second. Yes. Soda stream is where it's at. Make your own carbonated. I, I can't. I can't. Like I'm, I'm softly. Okay, here you go. I'll, I'll play it. I'll play it for people. Go for it. Hang on. Sorry, mini healer. You're gonna have to go away for now. I'll bring in the. I'll bring in the other tunes in a sec. Okay, let me open up a browser. One second. There we go. Can we get a can we get a full screen? Can we do a full screen? I might not be able to. Either way, hang on. Okay, my Pilates instructor makes this drink almost like every day, I think she told me, and it's a healthy alternative to a Coke. And I am not joking you, it tastes just like a Coke and you're gonna think I'm insane. So do like a splash of balsamic vinegar with ice in a cup and then take any sparkling beverage, like I'm picking LaCroix and it could be any flavor. This one's the guava, it's like the summer flavor. Okay, and now you're gonna mix it together. See, it honestly already looks like a Coke, but it looks like I a swear Coke. to God. It tastes like a Coke and it's healthy and it's good for you. You guys should go try it out. So good. Okay, the my fuck? Pilates instructor makes this. Come on. It's so good though. Come on. She had COVID and she lost her sense of taste. Yeah, maybe. A, a lot of, like, no joking, I, I think a, a lot of these people, I think they, they have because literally every recipe i i have any any time i've seen anybody talking about this here's what they say have you tried this hack 
it's going to be sparkling water or, you know, La Croix or whatever with a splash of balsamic vinegar. Do good, they good not know what a baby. splash is? Like a splash is literally a splash. It is not, let me do a few glugs of this. I, yeah, I don't understand. Like maybe she, she used the flavor, right? I think. I don't think that was like the non-flavored one. Even still, like... Mm -mm. It's balsamic, balsamic fucking vinegar, dude. No. No. No, no, no. One shot of vodka. Look, look, look. This isn't a new idea. I think I think the idea it's of just to like... Me. Let's Let's take a thing and let, let's try to make a healthier version of this thing. Although, to be fair, I can't think of what the thing is that orange juice and coffee is supposed to be. What it's supposed to replace. The whole cucumber, whatever it is, is supposed what, to... What was it? Cu cu cucumber... I don't remember. I'm going to look it up. It was, it was some spice thing. Yeah, it was a TikTok thing. Yeah, these people must have bad taste buds. Just came in, heard vinegar got scared. Hey, bro, new flag. How are you? Dude, uh, like we've been using a little bit of vinegar in a spray bottle with some, I don't know, some other shit to get mm -hmm. rid of flies recently. Vinegar it smells enough. worse than worse it tastes. Than the smell it's is... Not... Nah, I, 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 I... I can't do it. Can't do it. It's disgusting. I tell you what, if anyone has any videos or ideas or for, sorry, Miss Queep, can you uh, smash that button? Um, or ideas for tier lists? Can you hit me up? Interesting videos that you think would be fun to talk about. I'm, I'm thinking about branching out. Well, on that note, I'm going to go take care of Loaf because it is 11.17 at night. Oh my god. Uh, I need to go take care of my child. Yeah, it is. Miss Queeb, have you seen that fruit that switches your sour taste to sweet? It's called flavor tripping. I have not. Um, I don't know if it would work for me. I think, I think that would be the worst thing for you. Yeah. Um... I'm not sure. I'm 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 cool with with investigating. Uh, the the one of one of the shitty things about being a super taster and not being able to to taste certain elements or or tasting them way too strongly. <laughs> Healthy is, methamphetamines. Exactly. Um, is that I i don't know how common foods are like right now i eat watermelon with salt on it because it's way too sweet i usually have salt, a sour candy anything that's like like sweet sweet i'm not into it already so uh i am, I am curious if if you will send me a link or something i will i will investigate and i will make sure to at least if i don't do it on stream i will try to uh make a video on it it is a red fruit pill. A red fruit pill? Look it up. It. What is it called? It binds to the sour receptors on your tongue for an hour or so. I mean, I'll 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 look into it. I'll find it in Discord. It was there. So, thank you, Kina. I appreciate that. But uh, but yeah, I'll. I... So, so wait, wait, wait. It changes everything that should taste sour to be tasting sweet, and vice yeah, versa, or. Is it one way, one way trip? I wonder if it if it works the inverse of a pill that I have that I actually never took uh, because I, I decided to go cold turkey. Um, it is a, a pill that it's a vitamin and it makes sweet things taste less or it like Sour makes things like lemons taste like candy. Things taste like less sweet and it stops sugar cravings. Um, so I could I eat a lemon it. instead of a, a a bag of candy. But but what about lemons and the candy? L lemon candies, you mean? 
I, I do still have some. I do. They are, they are my favorite. It's an interesting concept. I'm trying to think what the, what the drawbacks would be. What, what do we eat that, well, I mean, I like, I like a tangy salad dressing, right? Half and half soda and seltzer is good if you want to reduce the sweetness. Um, I'm a big fan of, of orange juice and, uh, and Sprite. Right. Half and half, yeah. I'll just stick with water. Like, meh. Uh, where, where did it go? Poorly thought out life hacks, especially when they involve food, always remind me of Anne Reardon. I gotta Google that. Make sour things taste sweet. Drawback would be your stomach and the uh, end result. That is true. I wonder if you could get acid reflux real bad, like mm -hmm. stupid bad, if you did that too much. Yeah. Citric acid is the problem, right? It is. Eating an entire lemon isn't enough of a drug. It will. Um, I know for me, I if I have eaten things that are somewhat acidy or acidic, I guess is the right word. I have to take at least two omeprazole at night. Otherwise, I will be up. And I've had to do that for many years. And it, you it's get not, it real bad. Yeah, it's like, it's not an old person thing. It is literally, my body's like, you know what? Maybe not. You probably shouldn't have done that. It's M berry. Make life sweeter. Miracle berries. Mm. It's a glycoprotein that inhibits sour receptors and enhanced natural sweetness. So you get all of the pleasure, none of the pain. I... It's got I... kiwi fruit, oranges, grapefruit, pineapple, pomegranates, raspberries, blackberries uh, on the picture. Is that, is that what's considered sour? The amount of sugar in them already is wild. Any one of those. I am I'm, interested I mean, I'm intrigued. to find out how how it will affect me specifically because because of the super taster gene, I I can taste like like fake chemical taste. Because Queeb is one of the people that when she has cilantro tastes soap. No, no, it doesn't. It actually it, it oh, doesn't. It's you're like you're not one of those. I'm not. Oh. Um, super taster just means that, uh, for instance, when you're uh, trying, your husband is trying to find a coffee that you will drink, you won't drink any because uh, you need coffee to be like 99% sugar and creamer and like a, a drop of, of coffee and it still tastes overwhelming. We, I used to have a, um, uh, a coffee machine thing and when Ms. Queep loves the smell of coffee and wanted to try it so we spent three four hours one night attempting to make a coffee drink that would be bearable for her to give context anything that you could get pick the sweetest most you know whatever thing off of your typical Starbucks menu and it would be too much we tried to make it at home we had ice cream I had I did have like premium Cafe Bustello at the time and maybe that was the problem, I don't know. But, and then we tried like uh, oh, we, a freeze dried we, coffee. We, we, tried, we tried everything, like the, the, the sugar ratios. We, we were in a little lab in the kitchen. Yeah, and- Nothing. Uh, there was one, but it was fucking nightmare to make. Lately, well, I say lately, I haven't, I don't think I've done it this year. Um, I figured out what coffee drink I can drink that I can make from home. However, th th there's no way it's it's not it's not feasible. It, it's literally getting the Starbucks vanilla latte pre-made drink and doing that, like, like filling a cup with ice, filling it halfway with the caf the vanilla latte pre-mix, right? Then filling up half of the remainder with milk and then filling half of the remainder with creamer with a caramel glaze and and that it like it's ridiculous that is that is that is fine i do not taste like any of that that overwhelming coffee flavor 
the problem is when you're consuming that much sugar. <laughs> you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing that. Not even once. Did I try mocha? I have. I, it is it is it is a a a genetic deficiency. I have a lot of people have it. Uh, it essentially. It, 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 People think that it was it, it is a you know like one of those weird like genetic things that that like evolution traits that it has evolved so I can detect a poison of some kind. Uh, people generally uh, sweet things end up tasting like nothing really. Let like like sometimes things get too sweet, but not really. Your sister has it. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. She has oh, a job tasting things for companies. So well, no, no, I'm not jealous because I, I am very picky about what I eat. So I, I'm jealous in theory. I can. In fact, um, the the main reason why I I don't eat as much meat is because all meat and, and actually milk, all like cow milk, it smells rotten. Meat smells rotten. Um, oh, I could kill a steak right now. I'm so fucking hungry. <laughs> yeah. Like it's it, it it's gross. Like it it's not my thing. Um, you drink Death Wish coffee usually with creamer, but can take it black. I, it, it, I know it's it's bad, but it's it's okay. I did go from eating you cereal have to drink coffee. every day to to not like like very rarely eating cereal and milk. Like like. It's no big deal. It just I had to change my whole diet. One one of my uh, fondest memories actually is with a person in this channel, Jermaze. Him and I used to go, and and a couple other friends used to go to like cafes and and hang out. We were we that was that was we had a good time. And there was one place we had we went to, and they just made like regular cappuccino, but it was it was quality, right? And I remember. I think I started with a cappuccino and then I had an affogato for the very first time, which is a scoop of ice cream and a shot of coffee. Holy fuck, life changed. Uh, that, that shit was incredible. The, in this country, coffee and alcohol are very social activities. As a result of the super taster gene, I do not drink any any alcohol at all. Well, I neither do I. Yeah, I haven't for years. Um, what What did you buy the other day? What was that? A, a pre a pre made something. I don't remember. I had one drink. I'm like, you know what? I'm good. I'm good for the next year. It's I don't need anything vile. else. Um, Crema but, Cafe. Oh. Um, uh, Where's that from? It's, uh... Uh... Yep, I, I've had that. Replacing the root beer in a root beer float with Kahlua is one of the favorite drinks. But then... So... My my rationality with the, with the coffee is... If... If I need to... To use so much cream and milk to dilute something, why wouldn't I just have like a milkshake? Why wouldn't I just like drink milk? Why Why would I even want to drink coffee? It doesn't, that doesn't make sense to me, in my opinion. And to top it off, I have ADHD, so coffee does not affect me like it affects normal people who drink coffee. The, the people who drink three or four cups of coffee and they are fucking wired, they are, they are on it. That doesn't happen to me. Like any kind of caffeine, sugar whatsoever, I don't get a boost. I I act like a normal person. Do you think that you 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 enjoyed Coke, like that was your drink of choice? Do you think that the caffeine in that, because you, you've told me before that when you drink Coke, you get that buzz. I would say the same thing right now about Red Bull, like, but I think on no, like I a never biological heard. level, it has affected me. I'm just maybe less sensitive to it now. It might be. You're going back home to Italy for two months. Cannot wait to have that. <laughs> so with uh, 
with people who are typically neurodivergent, a lot of them do have ADHD. It's this, it, it's sort of in the same line as, as people who we were talking about methamphetamines earlier, same people who like, like, oh, you know, I take Adderall and I can, I can study all night and I can, I can knock out that meeting and I, I, I don't need any sleep at all. And then if you give Adderall to someone who needs, actually needs Adderall and who, who has ADHD, they're like, oh, I don't know. I mean, I felt a little more focused today, but yeah, I mean, otherwise, no, no change. It, it's the exact same thing with any kind of caffeine. I, I do not get a caffeine buzz. I've never had a caffeine buzz at all. Um, and it's it's a little, it kind of hurt my feelings just a little bit because like coffee, like I said, coffee is, it's such a social activity here in this country. Like, what do you do when, when you're in a typical job setting? Like, you know, people tend to congregate around coffee machines or making coffee or having coffee or like, hey, walk, walk, walk with me so, uh, while I go get a cup of coffee. I'll tell you the gossip. And they would all, all be like bright eyed and, and bushy tailed. And then uh, there's me who I, I don't, I don't drink coffee, so I don't get that buzz. I have to drink like a Coke in the morning. And then people are like, why are you drinking a Coke? It's like eight o'clock in the morning. It's like this, this Coke will get me 10% closer to how you are with coffee. So I kind of have to. I used to make cold brew and I would get wired. I can't see like, like it's, it, it's fucking addictive. I just switched to Vivance like a week ago. I fucking love it. I wish I switched a decade ago. Oh, I, I'm. I'm so glad you, you actually did that. Seriously. That's awesome. I heard my words, neurodivergent and ADHD. What was, what was Vivance? Oh, it's an uh, ADHD medication? It is. Yeah. It, it's so for a very long time, Adderall was the standard and Vivance is slowly becoming the new standard. I'm so glad ADHD is in the public eye now and yes. considered normal. It was, you had ADHD or ADD and I'm sure they're different, different. <laughs> But um, there was there was always it, it's like there was something wrong with you, and then people found out what was in the medication that just it it, it just makes you plateau, right? Instead of being what you are, it's like it, that just that just elevates things. Um, when my, uh, brother was little, he actually got diagnosed with ADD. It, chlorine is correct. Now it has been folded into ADHD, but at the time you had two and like ADHD was considered the quote unquote bad one. He, uh, got diagnosed with ADD. He was on Ritalin. He was on a very high dosage of Ritalin. I don't remember what it was. I remember at the time, like like learning about that it was a high dosage saying, oh my God, okay. And at the time you had to be careful with that because people, people who, uh, who take drugs, I don't know if I'll get like popped by Twitch for saying that people who, On my who, channel. who are, <laughs> who are into that, they, they would, if, if they ever saw the bottle, they'd be like, oh, Ritalin. Oh, wow. That's, that's a lot. Yeah. And very frequently, my parents would have friends come over, one, two, five pills would like walk off. Oh, a no. bunch of times the bottle would walk off. And Jesus Christ. Having to get a replacement, even oh. back then, like back then you had to get a paper prescription. They didn't do any of this online shit. They didn't do any of this call it in shit. You had to actually get a written piece of paper mm. and take it to the pharmacy. The pharmacy had to call and verify back shit over and like having to do that and it was just it was fucking ridiculous like like people saw saw that my significant other requires a diet coke in the morning she overstands i i feel for her i do i think coffee is a social activity everywhere i don't drink coffee either i just don't feel it not crazy about it it's i just like as i, I, I really like a good coffee but i'll settle for a very creamy very sugary starbucks anything pretty much yeah it, there I, I I just, it's like a milkshake to me i don't know i haven't been to starbucks in forever i, I don't go for myself i go for queeb and he'll be like 
yeah, can you can you stop at Starbucks for me? Can you can you get me this? And he has this order, like with with toffee nut syrup, I believe. And if they don't have it, like, like I always, I'm terrified. I'm gonna be at a window and I'm gonna ask. Apparently, ask for apparently, what do they say? It's, it's a mixture between caramel. All it is is, is, is caramel and hazelnut. Hazelnut, I think. Yeah. yeah. But I always ask him for a backup because, like, like one of my fears is is asking for something and they don't have it and then i'm like uh oh okay thank you and that's it and they're like well are you sure you don't want anything um it, it's okay it's fine thank you and then i leave and then he says something like oh um yeah you know what like you can get the chocolate one it's fine like whatever and then i have to go get back in line and then i feel like i've been singled out it's like i'm i'm back and can i get this one thing so i have i i know what to ask for right it's like if, if they have hazel if like get the the toffee nut. They don't have toffee nut. Get the hazelnut and caramel mix. If they don't have that, get mocha. No whip. Like like I know the thing, but it's like how uh, whip whip is the the how straw you... that puts me on the toilet all afternoon. <laughs> like how do you do that? Like how how are, is it like oh yeah yeah you know what uh, toffee nut no. It was, I mean we we get well I I don't think I don't know if you suffer from this but I get um. I don't even know the word for it. I get drive through anxiety. It's, you are. It's a lot of pressure. There was once Miss Queeb and I went to, um, I think it was KFC drive through And we were just gonna get a couple of small things, maybe some things for the dogs as well, like chicken nuggets or whatever. And um, I was so indecisive and panicked because of the very small amount of time I had to make a decision that um, we spent 35, 40 bucks for two people. We spent 45 bucks and we got two bags of food. Because I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I, I, my brain shut down and I was panicking. Meanwhile, I've learned what that feeling is, which means I need to know where we're going and I will pull up a menu on my phone and I will come up with two or three backups. And if that does not, if, if, if they do not have anything, I will not get anything at all. Like I have to do that. Queeb like will panic by a filet of fish because his brain recognizes, oh yeah, 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 we had that once. Yeah, yeah, we had that once, that's good, that's good. And then he gets it and he's like, I'm not gonna eat this. You wanna give it to the dogs? It's weird talking to random people. If there's too many options, it's hard to think. It's uh, the attitude of the person taking the order. And, and, uh, and I've worked retail, so I can definitely see where they're coming from. Um, from Nubla, thank you so much. We're, we're, we're not wholesome. We're just neurotic, I promise. The, the attitude of the person taking the order matters so much for me, especially if I'm given a very short period of time to get the script right in my head. Um, and then if the speaker is not working or it's intermittent, like, fuck me, I, I don't know what, I'm beside myself at that point. Weeb, I love Weeb, I do. However, if he is in the state of being like, like anxious and overwhelmed, you can't even look at him you can't talk to him. It's like his brain goes into lockdown. And I just have to sit back and I have to watch it happen. I'm like, oh dear. Okay. I've, I've spoken about this before as well. I get a very similar feeling. And I don't know if this is on the same whatever, right? I've, I've not been diagnosed with ADHD. Miss Queeb thinks I have it. I, after watching TikTok, I think I have it. If we're watching a movie and there's a moment about to happen and somebody that I'm watching it with, they've seen it before, maybe I haven't, right? They look at me waiting for that reaction. I am I am horrified at that moment. I can't I can't move. I can't acknowledge the fact that they're looking at me because I'm I'm gonna yell at them if I did. Like that. And, and no, they, they just want to sh see the joy or e experience secondhand that feeling, right? Uh, ho uh. Yeah, 
you hate when you get your script settled, then they don't have what oh. you want. Oh my god. I We've been there. <laughs> I went to, I went to Taco Bell like a couple weeks ago. And they brought they brought back the Mexican pizza. I don't know if you know this. They brought back the Mexican Did pizza. Did they take How, it away again? However, they didn't take it away. They ran out it's of out, the shit. It's out of fucking stock all the time. So you pull up. They don't even have a sign on the sign. They have a little stick sign in the grass as you turn in that says, hey, we're all sold out. Oh, they did take it away again. It probably ended in June then. Um, yeah, but it would like be these little signs like, hey, just FYI, we're out of that. And I always I feel like a dumbass going and I'm like, hey, do you do you have any nachos bel grande today? Do you okay? Can I have one of those? Do you do you have any of this? The 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 cinnam the cinnabon delights? Can I can I can I? Oh, you do you do? How many do I want? Um, well, if I they come in two or twelve, do do I get like two twos or three twos or do I get a twelve? And it's like it's a it's a whole thing. The whole thing is just it, it's it's blown out of the water. I have been. I, I have been expecting this one thing and I can't have it. And, and that is why I have the backup and the backup and the backup. I'm going to make sure that I get what I need. You are, you, I cannot spend 25 fucking dollars at Taco Bell anymore. I can't do it. I'm not built that way. Do you have any wet socks with red sauce on it? We <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. So I was thinking about the Mc McRib and I, and I, immediately questioned whether or not they looked at the Mc McRib strategy and you say wholesale pork prices I say they do what Nintendo does and they look at the scarcity factor and how much more they'll sell and how how high they can keep the prices for an extended duration and I wonder if marketing comes like if it comes down to marketing instead uh, whatever you want to say about that, Whataburger probably did it first. Whataburger, and you know this, you know this. We have, Queeb and I have driven across country twice. And both times, every time we are in a Whataburger state, I, and we like, there is one within, within driving distance, we're stopping at Whataburger. You can wait in the parking lot, I don't care. I'm, I'm getting an A1 thick and hearty to see if they, they have it because it was like the illustrious McRib. Like, oh, the A1, the A1 thick and hearty burger's back. We got it back. And then literally the lines, like Whataburger already, may, if you've never been, they make everything fresh. I didn't, you are, I didn't think it was that, all that. Like I know you, I know you as a Texan. In line. You need, stop the slander. Well, hey, you I, wait in line. I hate in and out too, so it's, yes. it's even. You stop the line for like 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 literally ten minutes per car around. You have to estimate like like it is it is a journey, and people wait in line freely. That is what they do for the thick and hearty, absolutely. And so there would be the these like like it would go like almost a year and never never be there. And then randomly, hey, the A one thick and hearty is back. It's like, wait, I'm sorry, what? Like, they would do commercials. Hey, uh, guess what's coming back starting August 1st? It's the A1 Thick and Hearty, baby. And it, it was this whole marketing campaign. It was huge. And so then people were like, you know what? Let's just, it, 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 it's on the menu. It's on the menu for good. Why the fuck am I going to go to Whataburger right now? Scrabbler, if you're confused, the title says Heal Me because... That's something a lot of people who play MMOs would say when they are low on health and need heals. The game that I was supposed to be playing, one you can see in the window just below me there, is called Mini Healer. You'll never mm. guess what it's about. The person talking is my wife. Hi. Uh, and we, we're just having a chat. because We're I... just... We're shooting some shit. Fuck it. This is fun. Fuck it. You know what? It's 11.44 on a fucking Friday. What else do you have to do? Why did in and out have to be that one bad experience with you, but five guys, five, do not talk to me. Five, oh my God, the grilled cheese with grilled I, onions. I didn't think five guys was all that either. 
And their fries don't taste great. You, this, you guys, you guys fucking, to... you guys fucking missed out in in America at least because in the in Australia, KFC is. You have no idea how much I miss it. They have a burger called the Zinger Burger, which I think you may have had here at one stage. They we have, did have. We did. They have real fries instead of fucking huge chunks of potato. Um, and the salt they put on their fries is, oh, I'm, I'm fucking starving. You believe that In-N-Out recently came to Melbourne? Did it? Who said, who said that? Atreus. Uh huh. Miss Queeb is chat's healer. You know what? I will accept that. I am dual spec'd. I can do it. KFC has fries now? What, in the States? I need to look this up right now. We've We've had this discussion. Sergeant, you are you are correct. The Cajun fries, phenomenal. Front and fucking center. Yeah. The last time I went to KFC, by the way, I only go to KFC because he wants to. Um, I went and they had it on the menu and I'm like hey you know they have them and you're like wait what they have them I don't remember that conversation I know you don't I do it's fine so I love why am I looking I'm so starving Stop. I love these queeb mancers controlling the chat you know what thank you pro noob Jack Harlow's meal what is, what is Jack Harlow's meal still do looking you know who do you know who Jack Harlow is? No. Okay. Spicy chicken sandwich, which looks like a fucking Zinger burger, except it's got pickles on it because Americans are weird. I take now I'm even hungry. Oh my god. I take full advantage of those toppings. A1 sauce is surprisingly really good on a burger. The A1 thick and hearty, fantastic. It is amazing, phenomenal. I what what it. is it? A, a, a burger with it is it is with a one uh, sauce on it? <laughs> I believe it's two patties. It is bacon. I want to say it's cheddar cheese, a one sauce, like it's specifically the thick and hearty sauce. And I don't think there's onions on it, but I was I always got mine with onions, and it was just it was just it was a big it was like a two hand burger, and what a burger didn't really up until that point they didn't really have like like a, a, a massive fucking burger that could compare to oh what, what's the one that the the one that wendy's has where it's like like they have like a single double triple whatever it, it like it's bigger than that i don't think so, i've ever had a wendy's burger well maybe maybe, maybe. Have. i have mm -hmm. you you're like well it, it's pretty good every once in a while pickles have been on a burger since day one that is that is false that is false Two patties, two slices of cheese, bacon, grilled onions, A1 sauce. Thank you, Torment. I hate Idiot. talking about food on this channel, especially when I'm fucking hungry. Oh my god. You're all that that that's your secret, Cap. You're always hungry. That's it. I've yet to have one. I wonder if they will ever try to compete with the West Coast. They will not. They won't. And and I miss the Aussie burger from Hungry Jacks, which is the the same company as Burger King here. It had uh, beets and egg on it. Beets. And, and it, it wasn't real egg either. It was kind of... Fake egg. Wow. I it, it was perfect. It was like, it was, it was, it was a circle of white with a circle of yellow, but the texture was not right. It was, it was amazing. It's funny watching Queeb like like go gaga over food but if you if you mention anything about food like oh this is my favorite I absolutely love this it's like I fucking hate it it's nasty gross that's disgusting like like very very strongly feeling like your food is good everybody else's is bad what what I also hate pickles on burgers Wendy's uses slightly overcooked meat patties for their chill they do Another thing, McDonald's needs to stop reusing the oil for as long as they do. I don't mind it on the fries, but on the hash browns, it's unacceptable. 
So just FYI, if there's a representative from McDonald's here, pass it up the chain. Pass it up the chain. Garlic Tell pickles. About... Don't even. Tell me about this game you want to play. You, what, you You've haven't... played it a few times. You've seen me play this, haven't you? I, I saw the beginning. I You made me a berserker. I was very excited. That's right. Yeah. I didn't see any berserking, though. No, it's just a it's just a DPS melee class, that's all. Then just call it DPS. Why, why call it a berserker? He is very cute. I I I uh, I do like that you named them after after Chad. I think that's cute. Well, you gotta you gotta represent. You gotta represent. They die oh, almost every time, but you know. Uh, hash browns with old fire grease is nasty. I don't know what I... it is with, with the hash browns. It's it's especially bad. It's it it, it retains that. I mean, for, for lack of a better word, aftertaste. And it's 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 a very distinctly oil. I I will say this much: I am not normally a hash brown person. However, the last several times I've gotten hash browns, they have been especially greasy. Not greasy, greasy, like nasty. And I don't know if that's because I'm just I'm I am I am through my hash brown phase, or what. Yes, it does. It's, it tastes it's so like gross. their dumpster smell. Yeah, it's I mean, so bad. So okay. we've been playing this for uh, this is the third night now. Yes. And I think I need to farm because um, we've kind of hit a wall in the form of down here. Here was it? Or no, Guardian's Cave. So all of these enemies here are like mega bosses and they all have like strategies that you need to learn, right? Um so we need to we need to but we're not strong enough yet to do these. So the whole premise, if you're if you're new here, it's called Mini Healer, it's in early access. It is now eight bucks on Steam. The price has gone up since I last mentioned it was five dollars. 60 a couple of days ago um, and you play the role of a healer that's it but it's it's very reminiscent of how healing would be um, in in like World of Warcraft or any any uh, any MMO so you've got to maintain everybody's health you've got to like use uh, heal over times or direct heals depending on how much damage is being done your tank will get the most attention hopefully um, and everything else is automatic all you need to do is is make sure they don't drop basically get shouted at and blamed a lot <laughs> can't yell at me if you're dead uh, there's talent trees so I've put in um, a lot of points in the druid tree there's a priest tree, which is more focused on, uh, sorry, so like nature healing and heals, heal over time, that kind of thing. Um, priest tree, which is a uh, major single target healing and uh, I think buffs. And then you've got the occultist tree, which is kind of like more aimed at damage. So like shadow priest style stuff. Um, I put a little bit of points into there. And we've got uh, the paladin as well, which is a little bit of a little bit of everything, uh, but also heavy buffing and debuffing. So it's 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 kind of cool. Uh, you can reset for free at any time. If you make a mistake, you can just undo it straight away. Um, there's items. So this is the items that I'm wearing. This is an an unusual thing: is that the only person that gets to wear items is the healer. Um, so you'll have items that are focused on uh, tank stuff, for example, like this here, the uncommon hammer, right? Tank critical strike damage, tank fire damage, healer physical damage, healer ice damage. Um, there's rune sockets, so you can make rune words. Uh, you can practice with that stuff, or you can just like pay for hints and it'll tell you what. Um, mastery reset is not completely free. 
Oh, you can undo that as well. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. 1900 hours on a resto shaman. Lich King to Cataclysm. Wow. I, I finished Lich King, actually. Party members are extensions of your being. Essentially, yeah. It's a it's a single player game. And that's that's what you kinda have to remember. Oh, we got some of these. I forgot about that. Divination spheres. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off to go take care of children. Okay. Children being dogs, not human cubs. <laughs> um I just want to say thank you to chat for being super cool while we had a very impromptu talk. In this three, is the last three time hours we, of chat, so. Yeah, we this is the longest we've actually spoken uh in weeks, actually. Yep. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't talk. We we're like two ships passing in the night. Um but I just want to say thank you to chat for being cool and I will hopefully see you over on uh this channel three at twitch.tv slash this channel three. Uh tomorrow around I don't know, maybe like eight, nine o'clock. I don't know. It's gonna be late, girl. We're we're gonna hang out. Uh, thank you again, and I will, uh, I will see you later. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Oh, I don't think Crow's here yet. If he is, he's, he ain't talking. I'll pass on your, your cause. Um, so the Atlas is any item that you've previously seen. So this is where you would come to do research on what you want, right? So for example... We're heavily invested in aura damage at the moment. So I can search for this and see what things do, right? What the items do, where to find them, how to unlock them, etc. What is that? Radiant Pride. Chaotic Relic. Tank Maximum Health. Party Maximum Health. Heal Power. 7 to 8% for aura effects. Increase all aura effects by 100% of Ranger's dodge chance. Hmm. Do I have one of those? I do not. Oh, interesting. This grants to void aura. Um, so yeah, I, I think, I think farming is going to be necessary now. What I would like to do, there's a couple of things we haven't done yet. There's an achievements list and um, so one of the achievements is get to level 80, which we're going to do over the course of time mastery we haven't got druid mastery nine or ten that's spending a certain amount of points within a specific um uh discipline here we go bone knight first chaotic victory on bone knight knight defeat chaos tier five insane and then full clear chaos tier five insane Bone Knight with every single party member alive on Nightmare difficulty. So I'm on normal difficulty at the, at the moment. I wonder if Nightmare would give us more experience. Or if it's just going to make it harder. Let's find out. Um, settings. Export your save. You can export your progress for transfer. That's an interesting option. Difficulty. Enemies have 30% more health, 20% more attack damage, 25% more spell power, 10% more experience, and 10% more gold. Ah, oh, let's give it a shot. So. In the vault entrance, I think. It is this guy. Bone Knight Insane. And it's max level, right? We may die very quickly.
That was three seconds. Okay, cool. Skeleton sword. Berserker physical damage. I don't think we need any of these. Uh, let's see if we actually... I, 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 that was way too easy. I mean, we are very strong. We're just not strong enough to beat the final room yet. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, no. Done. No shit. Okay. Next. Chaotic. So, the reason I wanted to do a lot of these is because you get a little tiny buff for each one completed. But some of them are really good. Like, experience rate increase... Percentage-wise, very good. Explore, Explorer of the Depths. De depth. Defeat Keto the Damned. Well, let's keep it on... On the difficulty we're at. I mean, might as well. Let's go beat Gump. Nightmare difficulty. Yeah, looks like that's what we have to do. Problem is, we're going to probably run out of these gems eventually as well. <laughs> we're getting four back, so that's not bad. Uh, okay. I'm just going to keep going here. We got the achievement for the first one. Yep. I mean, I don't even, I don't even have to heal at the moment. This is going way too quickly. Level 60 killing hogger. <laughs> Finucle, thank you so much for your resub. 11 months. Wow. Almost a year. Yeah, we ain't even getting hit. But these are... This is the first zone, right? So each zone is a, a pretty significant jump in difficulty. Or at least it was. I'm not even going to go through the gear at this point. Um, which one would we just do? This one? Nothing. My, my health hasn't been touched in zone one at all. All right. Let's check our Chivos. Solaria and Lunaria. Hate the sun. Defeat insane Solaria and Lunaria during the night. Oh. Sepatus. Mana overload. Destroy a mana crystal. Okay, I can do that. I think they have a shitload of health, but that shouldn't matter. It would be lovely to have very quick access to that, so we could reference it. Um, shit, I just go in normally. Fuck, he died straight away. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have to respect to get him, I think. Oh shit. <laughs> I think my my aura affects everyone. So uh yeah, we'll have to come back later to do that one. Defeat Lunaria during the night. I mean how do I how do I even time that? 
<laughs> Come on. What? Oh, on insane difficulty. Okay. That's why they died so fast. Can we do the fights naked? Uh, see, all of my damage comes from auras. We, I think we'll need a, a... So those those crystals, if I'm not mistaken, have uh, like a tremendous amount of health. Is it this guy? Ten point four million health. So we need massive damage, but not hurt him in the process. Um, that's on normal. Uh, this doesn't seem to change. How do I hold off? Let's see. What is going on? Is that... I'm getting confused now. In regards to specking, what would you say is more useful to you as a skill? Right now, all I care about is aura damage. And after that, it is heal power because that's where the aura that is damaging, the, the shadow aura, whatever the fuck it's called, the crepify or some shit, um, that gets its damage from your healing ability. Why does Decay Aura deal damage to all enemies? Causes the healer to deal 39% of heal power to all enemies per second. Like, that's just, that's just how it works. Yeah, we would we would need a single target change for that, which we may have an option in the occultist talent tree, but mm, I, I don't know. All right. Um, why don't we just beat as many as we can to start with on nightmare difficulty using as many crystals as we can. So we can't do anything here. Soul quarter then. Hopefully this guy will put up a little bit more of a fight. Oh, we're losing health. I have to do something. Oh, we got six back? Oh, that's awesome. We actually made profit there. Echoing Mall. It's kind of weird. Fury. Berserker Fire Damage. Berserker Attack Speed. Chaos Strike. Chaos Strike. Anguish. Berserker again. Yeah, I'll just go through as many of these as I can until we run out of gems, and then... I don't know, then we'll cherry pick, I guess. Hey, Vale. What's going on, dude? I wonder if defeating her in defensive stance... Well, I'm just speculating. I have no idea, but it's also dumb. Shooting star. We 
Luminous Wand, Partnership, Tank Maximum Health Party, Ice Resist. Tanks deal no damage. Hold up. Party members gain a percentage of tanks maximum health as bonus base physical damage. Berserker 3.5, Ranger 1.5, Healer 2. Tanks deal no damage. Okay. That sounds like it might be functional for a specific type of build. Yo, Pro Nooblet with another 10 gifted. Thank you, dude. That sounds really good. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Pro Noodle. That's very kind of you, man. Which, which fight was that? Shit, I forgot already. Guy I follow on TikTok, he... He's collecting mounts in World of Warcraft. Like, that's... That's all he does. He collects mounts. He's collected mounts forever. And, um... He's ranked, I don't know, like, top 100 in the world? Or something? But there's mounts that... He can't get anymore. Um, if... I, I would be really mad if that was me. Uh, 19.4% heal power, minus 5.9% all he healing done. All party members take 1% less damage per 1,000. So we have one of these already. I think mine might be better. I could be wrong. Um, like, he can't even buy some of them. They were limited time, or maybe they were given out for a special event or whatever, but... Yeah, that... I would... I would just... Straight up give up. Like, what's the point? If I can't have them all, and that's my goal, why bother? Somebody is always going to beat me. Um, but he loves it. He loves World of Warcraft. That's all he does is play World of Warcraft. I think he missed out on a limited time dungeon specific mount that had to be completed in like hardcore and you only had x number of chances to do it and not hardcore what's it called like mythic or something whatever and he was with a pickup group and it was the last chance he had and and somebody stepped in the wrong spot and wiped the party and he was so upset like that would that would crush me dude Ashes of Alar. <laughs> Nixon, that's uh that's a very impressive memory. No, sorry. The party didn't wipe. No one could die. And somebody did. another insanity okay hell's edge so we will be getting slightly better augments on the stuff that drops here because we're playing on like max difficulty and our we're getting decent gem drops here as well so we shouldn't run out too soon immortalized on youtube as that guy oh that wouldn't surprise me either if, if yeah i mean to be fair if you made a mistake that you shouldn't have and you knew better yeah. <laughs> oh shit, is this the all the bosses in a row? Well, we gotta do it. This might be this might be tough.
How's the healing going tonight? I just started actually, so um, Ms. Queeb jumped on chat and we were just hanging out. We've spent the last three hours doing that. At least this is so unhelpful. It doesn't give me any like live stats or anything. Very MMO without being an MMO. Yeah, <laughs> precisely it. Oh, so I should have moved out of the way there. There we go. Like you don't control these folks, which is kind of a bummer because they're stupid. They just stand where they are. Um, they don't do anything different at all. Uh-oh. I do have a resurrect now. I wonder if I could resurrect myself. That would be so funny. Tooth and nail. Tank maximum health. Tank nemesis damage. Spell song. Gain 30 mana whenever the tank blocks. So you could pick you could pick something like that, for example. That one small ability, right? And just roll with that. That's that's you now. You are you, you, you just work off that one thing, and I'm sure you could come up with a really complex build based on just the fact that you earn 80, 80 mana every time a tank does something. We've got a lot of dupes here. Uh, we can get rid of half the stuff that we're picking up. So that was that one. Bottom right. Now we know we can do both of these two bottom ones. Tremere! Thank you very much. Welcome back. Four months with Prime Gaming. I'm... I... I get why they changed the name to Prime Gaming, but I, I think Twitch Prime is still cooler. Oh yeah, dude, like it's nothing. The funny thing is people used to say thanks for subbing with Twitch Prime anyway. Like that that was in the vernacular already. All right, so let's go to Bio Quarter. This is the next zone. I want to make sure we can beat all of them before we attempt those. So realistically, once you reach a certain point... I'm stuck in place, that's bad. Once you reach a certain point, the difficulty level doesn't seem to matter. Have any beard care tips? What's your beard doing that you don't want it to do? Penance. Healer physical damage, heal power, 26% lesser heal. Lesser heal and divine mend reduces leadership cooldown by one second. More of a puzzle game on. Well the the zone the, the where the guardians are, they are like 
end level raid bosses in a traditional MMO. They're, they've got a lot of different stats. You do one thing wrong, you die. You've got timers. You can't be standing in certain locations. Like that, that works, right? It doesn't grow. Um, no, in, in, like that. I, I don't have anything for, for that. Um, I, I learned how to take care of my beard on YouTube. Maybe they have some advice for your specific situation. I put money on it, actually. You find anything on YouTube. You want to make a Coca-Cola without sugar? All you need is balsamic vinegar. Oh, this guy's frozen, that's right. Okay, you died fucking fast. Res. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Solitude. Rub Vegemite on your face? That's slanderous. Might be true though. Shiver Spine. Flash heal is now offensive. Interesting. Beat it a gem. Semicola. <laughs> They're getting tougher. Party members gain 1.7% maximum health and 0.8% block chance per 1% tanks block chance. It's a fucking weird one. There's another sunlight. That's what we currently have equipped. That one might be better. You hope someone makes a video in response to the healthy coke where they pour out all the coke and fill it with water? That's some easy content right there. If anyone's a creator in chat. <laughs> easy content. <laughs> Holy shit. And, and it would go big too. Because people wouldn't like that. People like don't like being called out. Oh, this one's tough. We have to... We have to actually... Use spells. Every spell you use increases this health bar on him. And then, once it gets to 75%, then it starts going back down. But he puts these, like, these bombs or whatever they are around the place. Um, and they can instantly kill you. Yes, watch this guy. He may get... He took a big hit. We're still strong enough. It's only coke if it's made in the coca-cola region of the u.s otherwise it's just sparkling balsamic vinegar <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> i 
And the reason I'm not spamming spells right now is because we still have a mana pool we have to worry about. You have pots? No. No, we don't have pots. Oh shit. It's hitting harder and harder. There he goes. Blip. Dead. The reason that worked so well is because we have an item that stacks the damage of our, um, our primary uh, decay aura over time. The longer we're in a fight, the better for us. Celestial. Celestia. Lesser heal also shields the target for 20% of heal power for 5 seconds. So no more mana's game over essentially. Very close to it. Sometimes you can scrape by. Sometimes. Extremely small amount of damage, never mind. Look at all this gear, dude. Shroud of Eternal Wars. Healer maximum health, heal power, party all elemental resistances, healer health regen. Every time the healer takes damage, she has a 40% chance of gaining 10% damage reduction for 5 seconds. Eh. What's up, why am I doing this? How you doing? So that was the bio quarter. Wait, what's the midnight zone? Oh, okay, that's that's where we were before. Now we'll go to the outer courtyard. This will probably kick my ass. Sunray. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, maybe not. I'm frozen. Still can't fucking move. Am I... Hello? Hospitality, Arnie, Venom. Whenever an enemy dies, all other enemies gain poison stacks equal to the number of poison stacks on the dead enemy. All other enemies gain poison. I mean, that's very limited usage. The number of multi enemy fights is quite slim. Zombification. Tank maximum health, 3,100. Party maximum health, 3,300. Nemesis resist, block chance. Party members auto attacks deal 80% more damage. Party members cannot automatically cast skills. Hmm. Uh, who was that? This one? Yes. Mump. I sincerely wonder whether nightmare damage is, uh, ready over here. If 
nightmare damage is the same difficulty wise or if it's just health Mantle. Heal power, tank maximum health, party maximum health. Focused Divine Mend now heals all party members. Yeah, what ifs. I gotta start remembering some strats, I think. Whenever a party member is healed, they gain a merciless stack. When upon reaching 20 stacks, reduce healing received by 70% for a short duration. Okay. That's 20 stacks right there. Again. Still strong enough. And if that's the case, it's a massive difference between the very last fight we had and the zone we can't even get do anything in. Like, huge. Okay. We're getting millions and millions of HP though, it's quite good. Hello, blue lizard dragon lady. Lose your mana if it reaches zero. Oh shit, okay. This one I'm actually worried about. I wonder if I can block that somehow. And, oh, okay, you stand in the bubble and you regain some. Okay. Up, please. Vigorous effect cannot be negated, regenerating health. Twisted bargain. Healer nemesis damage. Heal power, mana regeneration 29%. After spending 150 mana, 15% uh, already all elemental damage for 5 seconds. That's kind of nice. Put a little heart on that one. So we'll have earned some, um... We'll have earned some level ups, I think. I still don't know if it's enough, though. last. Zok Static Blade. Let's 
Every four attacks will deal an extra 300% attack damage as lightning damage cannot be negated. Is this the guy that brings in the storm cloud? Might be. Ah, uh, looks like it, huh? Could be slightly different variant. I am stunned. That's not good for me. Fortunately, I can still cast when I'm stunned. Water barrier effect, that's right. And then we... Shit. Me out. I'm gonna zap the dude. Yeah, stand in the water. I am dead. Ah, revive gets blanked out when you die. I don't know if I can win now. a big loss of, of gems. Shame. Again, stuck. We're just waiting for the water. Fury, Ranger Ice Damage, Berserker Fire Damage, Party Attack Speed, Rapid Shot, Chaos Strike. All right, well, let's go. Is that one, two, three, four? Let's go back here. See how many levels we got. First of all, seven. Nice. We have any more auras? One way down there. So I guess that's what we're doing then. What is it? Unity. Heal power, all aura effects. Increase critical heal chance by percent per aura affecting the healer. Critical heal multiplier by 4%. That's pretty good. All right, we got to spend a ton of points though, huh? Requires 32. We currently have 22. We need to spend 10 levels in here. Let's have a look. Body and mind shielding effects. Party members deal more damage. Party members take less damage when shielded. Requires 20 points. be good. Judgment. 49 mastery points. Did I respect? Nope. Nope. 
No, just a ton of grinding. Lightning damage, party lightning damage, no. Heal power, mana regeneration per second. That would be worth getting, I think. We need heal power, especially percentage wise. Shielding effects again with a heal power bonus. Feathered footwork, heal power again. I haven't, no, I haven't tried anything different yet. Attack speed. Sent heal power. Radiant heal effect. Could be good. Blessed wings. All party maximum health. Elemental resistances. Increase heal power by 13% when tank and healer are above 70% health. Yo, come on now. Alright, let's start with... Which one was it? Go with that one. Heal to shield bonus critical heal multiplier. No. You can now move while channeling. Reduce movement speed by 70% while channeling. Increase mana cost by 25% while channeling and moving. Yeah, that's fair. Sounds pretty good. one point in that one as well. We only have one more anyway. All party members maximum health. Yeah, that one. 13% increase. Also that one. is healer will occasionally cast salvation reducing all damage taken by 11% and increasing all lightning damage and fire damage dealt by 10% Um, no, I've got, if I check the other trees real quick, like every skill that I've currently unlocked, if it's got a number under it, it should be maxed out with, um, with the mastery bonus as well. I can go level four here later oh and then i start i have to start sacrificing points as well for further increases healers all damage dealt by one percent per sacrifice talent point but we ain't we ain't there yet is cataclysm still a thing in this version
fire. All party members fire resist. Healer will occasionally cast Cataclysm, so summoning eight fireballs that deal fire damage to all characters. Each fireball deals 70% times heal power, our damage to all enemies, and 2% of its damage to all party members. They reworked it? Was it broken before? Uh, gear. Let's have a look now. Let's get rid of... Ah, uh, don't sell yet. Hang on, let me go through this. Can we find socketed? Sockets. It's going to be an expensive upgrade if we choose to go that route. I'll keep them anyway. Because we'd have to change the... the number of sockets that it has. Did we get all two stars? Uh, two sockets? I can't remember. Okay. Used to replace an ability with a nuke for 3,000% heal. <laughs> that also scaled off sacrifice. If it didn't kill the target, would heal everything back over six seconds. Wow. Okay. Alright, sell all uncommon at the very least. I have a million cash. Maybe we keep non perfect. Uh, sorry, keep all the perfects. That only sold about 20 things. Okay. What was the one that I was looking at here? What's this one? Fire damage, ice, and lightning. Plus aura effects. Energy aura now also grants flame aura and frost aura. That's why it gave me three auras. We can definitely upgrade some stuff. Uh, and we can start with using some of those, what are they called? Um, these things, divination spheres. Oh, wrong person. Ready to bind. Bind. Plus, that jumped to 22, 26. So good. Divine. This cannot be divined. That is already divine. Okay. Like, I do like this build, but... I'm just not sure. Let's try again. First, let's check the Achievos. Oh, we've done a hell of a lot more now. Lom the Reanimator. Must be one of the Guardians. Yep, guessing so. First perfect victory. Everyone stays alive. It doesn't say anything about difficulty. Ito the Damned, and then other, the Automator, Fetal Guardians. So what happens if we bump the difficulty down to easy now? Oh, 
probably not going to make too much of a difference at this stage, but give it a shot. Keep summoning dudes, right? Increases attack speed and cast speed. Okay, so Bone Knight's almost gone. Puppet Master 1 effect. Attack speed increased, abilities improved. Oh, he's summoning. Is that gonna be like. Oh shit, it might be. As long as overheals don't ever, like, kill me, that will be fine. Back to the guy. We're at nine stacks right now. It's going to go down very quick. Oh yeah, we can definitely, we can definitely check that out as well. Rage effects. 14 stacks. He's going to drop super fast. Reanimated Goral. Physical damage, healer, fire, fire damage. Plus one absolution, two holy halo, three rapture. Holy shit. Heal power, berserker, lightning, tank ice, tank critical. Tank gains an extra base ice damage equal to 160% of burst berserker total lightning damage. Apprentice's compendium. Radiant heal, radiant heal effect. Radiant Heal has no cast time? Bruh. What? Keep that. Keep that. Sigil of Ice. Uh, I don't think we've used any sigils yet. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a big, big mana cost for sure. Three down here. Ordon's seal is very volatile and will explode every few seconds, setting all enemies' current health to 40%. If the seal explodes and the enemy has less than 40% of health remaining, the blast will instantly kill him or her. Then what happened if the seal explodes and the enemy has less than 40% of health remaining 
that the seal cannot explode. That's what happened yesterday. I think we just ended here. Buff up an ally with dark magic for five seconds. If the buff expires, the ally will gain a non-negatable reflective shield. Reflecting all damage taken. That might also have been what instant killed me yesterday. The reflecting reflective shields can be negated. That's exactly what has to happen on the... Who's that on? On the green guy. All your healing spells now also heals... Orden if he is selected. Win if Orden's health reaches full. Lose if it reaches zero. Uh, this one's super tricky. It's like so many things to keep track of. damage. They keep healing. When they do that, when they take too much damage, they just instant heal. Or not, not instant heal, but they... I think they add to... Oh, don't do that. Staying alive longer than we did yesterday. Eighty percent. Just got to stay above forty, I guess. Am I fucking? I just can't be healed right now. Welcome back. Did it. Luminary. Planetary alignment level. Orden's body. Oh, that's right. He wanted that back. Where was he? Down here? He needs more bits. Maybe. Aura effects. Full of heat, dealing fire damage to all party members. Holy fuck. Every second.
Jesus. And I can't stop him from doing that. Thirty-three million health. Thank you, Winter. Living bomb can be dispelled. Casting the spell, huh? Different stages. No, I think I'll make it. Thank you. We got some. We got some little tater tater tots and elotes. Very nice. is definitely not rooms full of heat dealing fire damage is that clicking dispel or negate I think I know the answer to that already Oh yeah, you gotta be super careful. Yep, I did that yesterday. Sold a ton of perfect ones because I clicked the wrong fucking button. Stressful as fuck being a healer, man. Ooh. 
cool. I didn't realize the living bomb did its thing on us, not vice, not the other way around. Zoe, how do you know? How could you possibly know? I took one crunch of the fucking little potato thing. And she trots, sits right next to me. How did you, how did you know? You crunched, Dad. Do you want a little bit of ketchup? Of course you do. Okay. We insta died here on this one as well yesterday. So you gotta relax. She's so fucking smart when it comes to food. Like, you have no idea. Like, she knows the sound of the plastic containers, like, cakes and shit come in. It's ridiculous, like bionic hearing or some shit. You're a six million dollar dog? Yeah, you are. Make him better. We'll heal, huh? Power of the moon increases ability damage, cooldown decreased, all elemental resistance decreased, cannot be negated. Oh, we just have to beat him twice? Out of mana, Jesus Christ. We got enough stacks. Yeah, down you go. Spirit orb effect. Wait, what are you looking at? My turn. Level 85 now, nice. Last one. Zedek, Samurai, uh, Samurai of the Umbra. Shadow Slash. to the dream world. Click the dream portal to go into the dream world. Click the reality portal to go back to the reality. Spelling a party member can switch them individually. So we gotta go to dream world, man.
Spent 150 hours playing it. That's leaving me quite hopeful. A huge swing of the sword instantly killing everything in reality. Ah. Heart piercing blow. Just relax. Don't we? We've got to wait. Edie has to eat too, okay? Do you wait? I'm so adorable, Dan. Yeah, okay. Bring those bubbles up, we're going Dream Worlds. was not in the dream world. <laughs> Fuck, he's got the same move on both sides. I, I never used to like, well, I, I still don't, overly complex mechanic. I'm not talking about this fight specifically, but in MMOs, everyone needing to be in the perfect position and, and you know, whatever. Never liked it. Especially, and Destiny was another one. Destiny, Destiny 2. Hated the fights in that. Especially when finding a group was insanely difficult as it was. doing damage to him but he's also not coming through to our world either I could let the stacks fucking build up Harfly, I'm I'm good, dude. I, I I'll figure it out. And and yeah, I, I figured as much. What I'm doing is letting my stacks get way high, and then his damage will go very very fast. So it's essentially the same concept as the the green and red from earlier. Twenty stacks does to him. Hopefully this doesn't go back down to zero. That would be funny. <laughs> What's the max stack? No idea. I 
Every nine seconds we go up one though. I see. And now we now we flipped. So this guy's in the dream world, we're in the real world. Actually, let's go back there so my tank doesn't die again. We'll do the same thing on the other. All right. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Bit of a boring fight if we do it this way, but if it has an accurate representation of which party member has aggro like based on I guess damage indication of when he's gonna cast the instant kill <laughs> so I'm kind of worried about that maybe it's the noise he makes the chunky noise I'll wait for the next one before we go back in physical damage, party maximum health, vampirism effect, three vampirism levels, minus 50 heal power, vampirism no longer heals, each party member will gain a crave attack on every auto attack, at 10 crave stacks the party member will gain bloodlust for 5 seconds as well as losing all crave stacks, vanquisher. Zerker and Chaos Pass. All right. We happy? We're happy. Good. Congratulations on defeating the Guardians, beating Mini Healer. You're free to challenge yourself with the following game modes depending on your preferences. If you would so we settle down. She 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 kinda like looks away. Uh, if you wish to min-max your build, then challenge yourself by using the key of infinity in depth and see how far you can go. 
if you wish to try out a little bit of roguelike experience, then talk to an Apiel at the Hidden Haven. Okay. So first things first, I want to make sure that... Yep. Automation... Automatic retry mode, I guess, is turned on. Oh, we can customize our look as well. I didn't know that. That's cool. But just for a hundred rolls of toilet paper. Auto restart, auto restart with chaos. Oh, dope. Zoe, relax. Uh, what are these called? Elotes. I need to try it. I don't even know what an elote is. You don't even know what it is. It's got corn in it. That much I know. Them, they're poison. Dad, you're lying. All right, so we need the infinite key, huh? Let's sell some gear before we go in. agree with the fact it's good yeah absolutely very nice one talent point was that enough we we're in paladin no thirty two points spent wait requires thirty two uh, I'm looking in the wrong spot. Ah, we are way off. 17. Got it. It is hot as fuck in here tonight. It's ridiculous. Oh, we can go back to other ones. That I didn't know. Potential artifacts. Select the tier of the key. Okay. Okay. if you can have it auto sell gear probably not
Okay, that's good. and shadows heal power berserker physical chaos okay i wonder what would be a good fight to farm hmm. i'm very curious because then we could set it up so that we can just play in the background while we do something else for a while These are really fucking good. They're tiny, but tiny but mighty. Like my healer here. So like, uh, like a way to reduce the cooldown on the spell. Must be a way to do that somehow. Another one? Do you know what we're not getting from here? At least that I've seen. The... What are the ascension stones called? Shit, I forgot what they were called. Just let it auto fight, auto fight until uh, until we end here, and then I'll set up something. I don't know if I'll stay online for long. It is stupid hot in here. I feel gross. one divination sphere and that's the one uh my yeah no the ac works i just prefer not to have it on it uh it creates a lot of noise mm -hmm. the hell are you edwin's challenge defeat edwin to acquire an anomalous accessory Wait, I remember this dude.
High humidity, 80 to 100. Yeah, I don't know. Some days are definitely... In this room, some days are worse. I, I'm hoping wherever we move to, we'll have... Um, or a Mancer Stone. Party maximum health. All aura effects. Party fire resist. Party... 200 elemental damage to all party members per aura affecting the healer. Oh, not damage received. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I'm hoping the place we move to, it has central air. And then we can have it on and it not be audible on stream. That would be really good. Like I said before, though, we're not, um, we're not in a position to really argue about that. Sony, are you in are you in Los Angeles? Minnesota. How do you feel when people do the do the accent when you tell them where you're from? That would really piss me off. Because it happens on a daily basis, I'm sure. It's true? Oh, you mean like, like people do actually talk like that? Oh, I, I, I get that. I think, I think that it's, it's cute. But, like, you don't mind it? <laughs> Might be used to it. Two bears. It's all good. All right. Well, good on you. <laughs> I mean, I don't get, I don't get pissed off when people do the shrimp on the Barbie thing because. Australians don't talk like that in the first place. So none of these fights can be tried again, right? These are just one-offs. So I, I wonder what the best farming zone is. Shit, I can look that up. Hurler. Mini Hurler, yes. In-game basics. Siphon life. Oh, it's giving you a build? It's, I don't want to build, I just want to know where to fucking farm. Ah, fuck yeah. Stupid sight. How many hours? Mmm. 
19. Serpent's Hunger. Have local commercials with commercials grandma's leveraging the accent. It's not a daily accent, but it's a heritage accent. Okay, well I've I've learned something tonight, that's cool. Too strong, man. Nearly all national news broadcasters have or are trained in Midwest accents. Is that a fact? Okay. Poison Geyser. Ranger and healer stand closer together. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and we have to, we're trapped in here. Okay. All right. He's just a beefy boy, huh? Bring that guy back alive, what the hell? This is endless. I mean, we're just going to be here forever. Hold up. Maybe not. We just do it again and again and again. Okay. All right. And then there was a rogue-like mode. Oh, more floors, got it. Welcome to the tower, the mini rogue-like experience inside. Mini healer, enter the tower with a different raid group and with a main healing skill. Improve as you climb the tower and build your healing and parties. 
defeat bosses and earn solar silk. Ah, that's where you unlock your uh, stuff. That's well, completely different, huh? Tank skills to unlock berserker skills. Folks, I am, think I'm gonna call it early tonight. I'm I'm feeling so gross sit, just sitting here. I am sweltering. Give me one second. Uh, tomorrow we're probably gonna jump into Arts Tale. I think we can finish it tomorrow. I think if we start with that, we can we can finish it easy, and then um, then back to. Dragon Age. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Give me one sec. Yeah. Well, Duty Beards streaming again. Let's raid him again. Uh, folks, thank you so much for hanging on in tonight. Great chat earlier. I had a good time. Um, and it was nice for Ms. Queeb to hang around as well. She doesn't normally stay, uh, stay here so late, but it's been good. Thank you very much. Again, you're, you're awesome dudes and, and dudettes, and, and I'm, I'm proud to know you. Thanks for being here. See you real soon.